How's it going, guys? I hope you guys all had a great weekend. I know it was not here on Saturday, but we'll, I got a couple stories. Not, I mean, not so much stories, but just kind of retelling of an event. I guess it's a story, right? I guess it's, it's a story. Um, more of a recap. Balls? Is the title isn't still Balls, right? I fixed that. It's not a long story. It's a short story. Very short. It's maybe a couple sentences. A um, couple things I want to yap about before we get into the game. It says The title still says Balls? Oh, yeah, no, it's in... Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. I forgot that I added that. I There's no reason that's... there's. It's not there for any reason other than that, like, the image of balls was in my head, and I just added them. I, I don't know. I couldn't get it out of my head. It's always in there. Um, if you guys want to see... That's the picture. <laughs> Someone took a picture of me at the party that I was at. And this is what was in their camera, somehow. I don't, I don't know what happened. Um... I don't know what happened. Same dude, same. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. That's, um, yeah, it's creepy. It's terrifying. I think this is what I actually look like, and his camera, he had maybe, I think he had like one of those ghost cameras that you pointed at like a, a, a dark room, and it, it takes pictures of like, you see little orbs and stuff. I think that's, they took a picture of me with that, and they got this. It's, it's, I think that's like the real me, technically. I don't know, something like that. Did you get tattoos of your eyes open on your eyelids? That would be really funny, but no. Um, I do want tattoos, though. I actually really, really, really badly want a tattoo. I don't know if I can get a tattoo, though. Because, well, right now I know I can't because they're expensive. They're super expensive. And what I want is, I think, pretty expensive. It's like two, three grand, I think. I don't know for sure. It just depends on the artist and a lot of things, honestly. But um, this is maybe going a little bit too much into detail, but I have something called... Uh, vasovagal syncope, which means that like when I get my blood drawn, for example, uh, if I'm not laying down, I'll pass out. It's just without fail. It's not because of the needle. It's not because of like nerves or anything. It's it's a thing in my stomach area. There's like a vagal nerve, and when it when blood happens to different places, it it like when it moves around in the ways that the body's not expecting, it kind of just shuts off my brain for a second. It's really weird. So weird. Well, yeah, it's it's there's a there's a decent amount of people that have that problem. Start saving. Uh, I need a new GPU first. I'm getting actually, uh, I'm getting a new CPU, um, which is probably gonna fix the issue that I have where if I'm playing a game, I can't like open a browser without the whole computer just fucking itself like really hard. Um, so I'm getting that like, I th hopefully within the next couple of weeks that'll be set up. Um, the actual CPU and the motherboard and stuff is gonna get here pretty soon. But the there's like an adapter that I need for my my CPU cooler. That's for Amazon said it's gonna take like a month to get here. I don't know why. I have no idea why. It's like this little piece of metal, and she's like, "Oh yeah, um, you know how like we're like the company that does next day or two day shipping for free if you have Prime." It's like, "Oh yeah, no, this one's um, we're gonna like make this in a cave, and then we're gonna send it to you on like the back of an eagle." They're like, I don't understand why it's gonna take so long. Typical Amazon. Is that typical? I don't think I've ever had that happen. I've had that happen with like, oh, it'll be like a week or like eight days, nine days, whatever, but not none of her like a month. That seems crazy. Um, it is a very old product, I believe. So it's probably sitting in a warehouse somewhere in China and they've got to ship it over, like actually ship it over, not just like, oh yeah, this comes from China, but we actually have like 30,000 of them in our warehouse that's like down the street from you. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't know. I I'm excited for that because I being able to show you guys like a TikTok that I thought of while I'm playing a game without having to close the game would be nice. It's it's very I don't know. It's a luxury, but it's it would just be nice. Also, I feel like it's so fucking hot. It's it's cold today, but like I was just running around. I, I was cooked a bunch of burgers and shit, and then I, my cat had like a poop diarrhea explosion. Um, like right, like literally, I was about to click start start stream, and I just look over and just. Like a like, it looked like a drag car like took off from there, or like somebody like did like a spin out or something. It was fucked up. What CPU did you get? It is uh, I think it's the th uh, eleven seven hundred K. Let me check. You guys want to see something crazy? 
really quick before I before I find this. Look at this. Look at this shit. Not this. Um, this guy had a a shelf installed on his body so that he can like put his snacks on there. Skid marks. What cat did the poopy? It's Cookie. It's always Cookie. She always has the poops. I don't know why. How did he get a sh like? How do you you can't? How do you go to the doctor and be like, hey, can you put like a shelf on me? It's kind of it's fascinating. It's actually I don't know. It's it's really interesting. But also, has anyone played Elden Ring: Shadow of the Erd Tree? Because um, I think. I think this might be like an elaborate cosplay of this boss. I think it might be. You don't see the shelf? It's like his chest is like, it comes out and then it goes down. It's like a, sh that's weird. I don't know. But I think it's this guy. I oh, you guys can't see my mouse moving. Or, but I think it's the, the, oh, what did I just do? How did I do that? How did I squish the, it what is going, what is, I'm just grabbing it to move it and it's doing this. What is it, what's happening? Huh? I can't like resize the image. It's like it's locked to OBS. I can't move it. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, whatever. I'm not going to deal with that right now. That's weird. I've never seen that happen before. I didn't turn you back on. Uh, okay, anyways. Uh, CPU is. <laughs> Let me find that. I got distracted. Uh, I, th I think it is... Shit, where is it? It's gotta be, like, right here. Yeah, 11900K. I was close. I was, I was 200 numbers off. I don't know if that actually makes a difference or not, but... Um, I don't know. Did you guys see the, um... The new... What, who is it? Is it Guillermo de Toro? The, like the the Frankenstein movie, did you see the like the 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 promotion image for that? Yeah, it's uh, Guillermo del Toro about Frankenstein. Okay, uh, this is super weird. This this is a movie. This is a like a a what do they call them? It's not like a title poster. It's a, a promotional image, I guess, for the movie. It looks like a video game. It's super weird. Let me show you. This looks like Lies of P. Or like, I don't like why. Why does this look like a video game? It's kind of weird. I kind of love it though. I like. I want to watch this movie now because it has this look to it. I'm thinking the reason is because they're using real time rendering, like Unreal Engine Five or something, instead of using something like Blender or Maya or what have you, right? They're using something that's more like fast and that they can maybe they're using like the live green screen thing so that they can actually maybe this guy is standing here. This person, this the human, the actor is standing here and he's real. And then all this is the live green screen that they can do with Unreal. And this might not be an altered image in the way that it's not like a green screen and then they slap him on. He actually might be standing in a virtual environment that looks like this. And it's super weird. It looks like a full set. To me, it looks like a video game. It looks CG in like a really weird way. The green glass especially would fuck with the green screen or blue screen so bad. I mean, yeah, you can mask that out though. Um, can I... Okay, I need to figure out how to zoom this. Because I want to look... Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. Uh, I'm going to just open the image somewhere else. Because... Uh, OBS is being weird. Uh, open link. There we go. You should be able to see that. Oh, not if I have this image still. Okay, there we go. Okay, this isn't that much better, but like zooming in, it looks, it still looks like a video game. It's too, everything's a little bit too perfect. And the reflections are like too perfect. It's always interesting to me that Pixar movies have had ray tracing for decades. I mean, everything is right. Every non real time rendering engine has had ray tracing for like 30 years now. Like, I can open up Blender and do ray tracing, no problem. It just takes, like, several seconds to several minutes per frame. So you can't do real-time. Doom is ray traced. I mean, yeah, there's fake ray tracing. There's, like, screen space ray tracing, which I think they're still using. It's just way better now. Um, 
But yeah, I don't know. The whole thing looks odd, and it just it it really does look like Lies of P. Like this looks like uh Geppetto or something. And these are all the like the puppets that he's making. I don't know. Um, I I love the aesthetic though. I think it looks fucking cool, and I want to watch it. Uh, okay. Other things I want to talk about are actually I don't remember what they are. Oh yeah, there's a couple. I I remember the kind of now. Um, let me pull up my list here. Oh yeah. Okay. We got a follower last last stream that I have to show you our whispers. He's obviously very clearly trying to sell me something, um, but he doesn't even know what he's trying to sell me or how to even mention that he's selling something. And it's really, really fucking weird. Uh, I'm going to open my whisper whispers here. It's like he's trying so hard to avoid getting banned by Twitch, like the auto mod, that he won't just say what he's doing. Um, how do I open this, like, I have my whispers here, but I don't know how to open it, like, in, it, like, you can open whispers in, like, a window? Uh, I don't know how to do that without, hang on, I just gotta go to mod view really quick. For some reason, I don't know why you have to be in mod view. Did you add him on Discord? I did not. I added him, I was talking to him in, uh, Twitch whispers, which is what I'm pulling up right now. As soon as it loads. Mod view takes forever sometimes. Uh, whispers. There's pop out. Why can't you do pop out when you're not in mod view? That seems so weird. Wait, I still can't do pop out. What the fuck is happening? There it is. There it is. There it is. All right, now we can close this. Um, I need to show you this guy's... I need to show this to you guys in a certain way, so give me a second here. Because I need to not dox anybody, or whatever. Um, this is going to be this, and then I need to crop this. Sorry, I keep touching my face because I got cat hair on my face. Because why wouldn't I always do? They're just, oh, they're, oh, like, they just, they shoot their hair at me, I swear to God. Because I just always, I, I will not have touched my cats for, like, seven hours like i'll be streaming and then i'll do something after stream and i'll like wipe my face and my face is just covered in cat hair i don't understand um is this gonna work ah, fuck why is do the undo button on obs is fucked up why can't i show you the screen anymore I don't know where it went. Um, I'm sorry, this is taking so long. Why isn't it working? Hang on. Something's fucked up. I know I'm covering the screen, right? But like, okay. Oh, now, okay, I get it. 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 Okay, we do this. We do this. Why? This is way too hard to figure out. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I'm trying to hide the rest of my DMs so you guys don't see the rest of my DMs, and I don't want to take a screenshot because this conversation is way too long. It's gonna take too many screenshots. Uh, I'm trying to. Okay, so I'm gonna use Spotify as an example just to show you guys what I'm trying to do. I don't know if anybody knows how to fix this. Okay, so. If I go here, and then here, you can see Spotify, right? Say I want to cut off, like, this part over here. Like, all my playlists, right? Usually, you'd just be able to do this, and, like, make it smaller, but it's, like, stuck to the edge of the screen. This is the same problem I was having with the image earlier, where I was trying to move it around. But this one, I can move. Um, I guess I could just do this. No, it is alt. I'm doing alt right now. But why is it, like, pinned to the side? Do I just need to pull it away from the side and then go in? Shift? Hang on. It's got to be like a, a combination of the two, where you resize it and crop it. Is it Control Alt? No. Shift, I think, just scales it uh, like to scale. It keeps the aspect ratio. I don't know why this is sort of do. Um, I could just I could just do this right. Oh, where'd it go? 
I can just make it smaller. I don't, I just don't, like, I don't really care about the aspect ratio that much. Uh, let me just cut this off, and I'll switch to the whispers. There we go. And then I'll go back in here. Oh, there we go. And there we go. And here's the conversation. Let me zoom in, because it's a little bit fucky. Okay, here. So, uh, let me make sure you guys can see it. There we go. This is the guy that followed last stream, and then afterwards, this happens every once in a while, somebody will follow and be like, you know, two hours after the stream, they'll message me, they'll be like, hey, like, good stream, keep it up, whatever, right? Um, not super common, it's usually bots or people trying to do stuff like this, but sometimes it's real, so I reply. It says, hey gamer, how you doing? I really enjoyed the stream, it's entertaining, and it resonates with me, I see you're trying your best and really enjoy the stream, it's entertaining. Again, this is like, very clearly English second language, at least. Uh, maybe a bot, maybe AI. I really enjoyed your stream. It's entertaining. And, it and this, like, this part? Oh, uh, shit. All of this, I did not see. I don't know why, when I replied to this, this was not here. And I'm actually just seeing it for the first time now. I think I maybe saw this one, but, like, a lot of this was not here. Really enjoy the chat. It's entertaining. Resonance with me. I see you're trying your best. Um... And so I was like, thanks. Like, you know, just, just being nice. I don't know why this has like a red box around it. You're welcome. Do you stream other games too? Super normal conversation. I'm not weirded out at this point. I, I think maybe he, maybe at worst, he's like a streamer too. And he maybe wants to collab or something. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'll talk to him. I was like, I do. I'm just playing Towers of Gospel since it just came out. He says, oh, uh, yes, I see it's a new game. I think it's fun. Do you stream other, pla or you stream on other platforms, right? This is where I'm like, okay, he's trying to sell me something. He's trying to get me to do like a multi-stream thing through his service or whatever. I said, I don't, but my VODs are on YouTube. Like, oh, that's good, but do you intend to stream on other platforms, right? Like, he's like, he's like, obviously you want to do this, right? Like, you must, you're a streamer, you, you must want to stream on other platforms. And then, are you there? Um, he barely gave me time to reply. He was also replying at almost 6 a.m., um, which is kind of wild. Is this a survey, kind of? Uh, and he said, are you there? I said, I do not. He said, oh, I see, but you play a variety of games. Yeah. Really, that's great. If you don't mind, mind me asking, what is your end goal for streaming? I mean, do you intend to build a great community and become a well-known streamer? Are you with me? Do you wear wigs? Will you wear... Wait, what, what, what? Oh. What is that from? I can't remember. I, I think I've seen that before. Firstly, you need to be... Or, yeah, firstly, you need to be successful because... Because R don't mind on your own budget, but your success is my own priority. This is where he started losing me. This is where... I think his script ended and he had to start like using Google Translate. So I said, homie, you got to run that through Google Translate one more time because I just like didn't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. I said, have, have you ready to connect you with my brother so that he can guide you on this? I said, lol, on what? You haven't even told me what you're trying to sell. So at this point, I'm just calling him out. Because my brother, we help you. I think he's calling me brother, maybe? Because my brother, because I, I, I called him homie, so he was trying to match the vernacular or maybe... Again, maybe an AI. Uh, because my brother, we will help you build a great community and become a well-known streamer because he will help... Well, I don't know. Maybe he... Maybe it actually is. He's, he's talking about... Like, he, he's trying to trick me to talking to his brother, in quotes. Uh, because he will help you build a great community so that you can become a well-known streamer so that you become a well-known streamer. I was like, just nah. I, like, this is where I just ended it. Because I could have kept going. I said, should I show you his Discord link so you can reach out to him? Are you with me? This is so... First of all, um, I, sh I shouldn't. Um, are you with them, Cyan? No, no, spam. Uh, spam. Spam. Oh, block two. Uh, anyways, so he's. I, I don't know how this is so rampant on Twitch. I don't know how the the bots that come into channels and advertise viewer bots or like bot like buy paid viewers. I don't know how those are so rampant on Twitch. I don't know how how is someone like this like there's no way this works, right? Fresh new chat on view. Oh, yeah, whatever. I don't think it really matters. Um, but yeah, let me close this. 
I don't understand why. How can it be worth unless you're making like a lot of money per person? How can it be worth doing these scams of these like, whatever this is? And if it if it is worth it, if it actually is good, how are they not making more money to hire somebody that can actually speak English? I don't know. It's really strange. Um, I have another conversation I wanted to show you, but I, I don't know how to show you easily because I took screenshots on my phone because it was on my phone. Um, but I wanted to stitch them together because it's too... It's too long of a conversation. But basically, I was trying to prompt an AI for something I'm going to talk about in a second uh, to help me get inspiration for a background or like a, a splash screen type of thing to pull up on stream when I do this, uh, which... It didn't do that. It did a terrible job. It gave me like some weird, trippy, like, uh, what was that Willy Wonka festival? Like the fake AI bullshit vibe. It, it kind of gave me that. Um, and then I was saying like, hey, can you turn it down? Can you make it like a little bit less colorful? Can you remove the people from the image? It's like, yeah, bet, dude, I got you. And it sent me, fuck, I want to show you guys this so bad. Hang on, let me, I'm going to send the pictures to myself. Because I'm talking about it now. I got I to gotta show you guys. It just started fucking losing its mind on me. Oh, I don't want to send it in the live notifications chat. God, there are 12 images. Give me one second here. This is going to be retarded to show you guys. I don't know how I'm going to show you. I'm just going to open it in an album, I guess. I gotta save all of them now, though. Or, 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 let's do this. Uh, shit, there we go, there we go. That works. I'm just gonna open them all in Firefox. I'll show them to you there. Uh, open link, open link. I wanted to have this presented nicer, um, but I, I ran out of time today because I was doing something for Webby behind the scenes and I just, I couldn't. I didn't have enough time today to do, like, anything. I couldn't even, like, I barely had time to take a shower. All right, so. Uh, this is going to be cut off again, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, okay, it's cut off, but let me fix that. We can do that, and then we can resize this back to where it was. Oh, this is also cut off. Fuck. Why is it skinnier than it should be? It's so skinny. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I have no idea how to stream, guys. I, su I swear I'm not this stupid. Also, my phone needs to be charged. I understand. I know. Copilot? I know. Copilot's awful. Um, it's the only generative AI that I've used that is, like, for general purpose. Um, so I've, I've, it's what I'm used to. So I asked it. I'm actually... Oh, fuck. Okay, I just spent all that time doing that. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on these. Gotta fix it again. There we go. So generate a slideshow, or a slideshow slide for question of the day, which is going to be our next segment. Something I want to start doing. Just come up with a question for you guys to answer and for me to answer on stream. Uh, typically opinion-based or just like coming up with a theory for something. You'll kind of understand what I'm talking about when we do it. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. Generate for me a slide for this question of the day. It's for a live stream, so keep it lively and colorful. Again, very boilerplate, like AI, whatever. And it gives me this. I was like, okay, it's kind of cool. A little bit too much. Also, I don't know why it gave me, like, the slide in context of it being on a screen. I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, and so it's like, sure thing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so can you get rid of the people and tone down the colors a bit? So it gets rid of the people, and it just makes like this weird, like trippy bullshit. With uh, the spelling is actually surprisingly good. I don't know AI was that good with like text now. Um, I don't know why it has two dots for the question mark. And I said that looks good, but please remove the foreground. I just want the image of the screen. Also, make it less psychedelic. So it turns it into an AI hellstorm. Ask for one in PPTX format. I don't think that would work. Um. It, it just makes one completely out of anime characters, and I don't know why. Um, I don't hate it. I think if it was rendered, like, perfectly without all the, like, AI bullshit, the AI slop bullshit, this would actually be kind of a cool image. 
Um, like if these were like, I don't know, like if this was like a Pokemon thing and these were like all different Pokemon trainers or whatever, and then these were all a bunch of different Pokemon in here, I think it'd be kind of cool. It would be a cool image. Um, and then I just told it, why is it made out of anime characters? Get rid of the people. Because I told it to get rid of the people and then it added, it like made the entire image out of people. So it just gave me a bunch of anime characters and then the slide. I don't know why. Um, so then I told it. I don't want to spoil anymore. Told it. Uh, okay, it says understood. I'll make sure this version has no people in it at all, which again, it does. It said no anime characters. Stop adding anime characters. I don't know what it made or what the image contains, or it doesn't know what it made or what the image contains. It should though. It it should know what the image contains because it can. It does like. I've worked with generative AI before, and it does know. Like it actually does. It uses something called um. Uh fuck interrogation to figure out what's in the image um so it does know what it made it just i think that you'll see in a second it, it completely freaked out it like lost its mind no anime character stop adding anime characters so it gives me this it's even more anime characters i think the fact that i'm saying anime characters even though i'm it's in the context of like hey stop adding them hey remove them it's just it's like oh this person is talking about anime characters i gotta add anime characters just like a bunch of them if it didn't, it wouldn't be able to generate images that are similar to it. Exactly, yeah. It also wouldn't be able to, like, you can give it an image saying, like, hey, can you, uh, can you turn this into an anime? It wouldn't know to, like, turn the frog into an anime frog. It would just see, like, green. <laughs> Who you question of the day? Why? Yeah, it's, it's fucked up. It's not good. So, at this point, uh, I'm getting annoyed. Because I just, I like, I, I've told it several times, stop adding anime characters, but it keeps adding them. Got it. I'll make sure there are no anime characters this time. Your simplified and toned down slide for question of the day is on its way. Which, by the way, it says this before it actually gives you the picture, and then the picture appears above it. It's weird. There are still anime characters. Why do you keep ask, adding anime characters when I told you to specifically to remove them? I never asked for them in the first place. I apologize for the misunderstanding. I appreciate your patience. Let's try this again. A question of the day slide with no anime characters, a toned down color palette, and a clean design. I'll get it right this time. Thanks for sticking with me. Notice there's no image, right? There's no picture. Well, where is it? There seems to be a glitch in shuttering the images requested. Let's try this again. I'll create a question of the day slide that's cleaned, toned down with no characters or distractions. Allow me a moment to sort this out for you. Again, no image. So I said, homie, are you tripping? Looks like there might be a bug in the image generation tool. Might better for the mix-up. Let's try a different approach. Here's a simple text layout for your slide. This is where I, I fucking cracked up. This is where I started taking screenshots. Because this, this right here, is what it was giving me as a finished product. This is what it was saying I should use instead of the image. Uh, speaking of the fucking devil, I get somebody in chat coming in. Cheap viewers on... I'm not going to say the, the URL, but like, I, no, how, how, thank you, Jabelia, but how the fuck, how does Twitch not see like someone spamming cheap viewers in chats and just like, they're just fine. They're just completely okay. Um, but yeah, this is funny. Hope this helps. If you need more adjustments or format, let me know. And I just, no, <laughs> I get that it's frustrating when things don't turn out the way you want. Let's make sure we get it right this time. Here's a straightforward plan. No people, no anime characters, tone down. Less vibrant colors, clean and simple design for question of the day. Let me know if this is your needs or feel free to ask. It's giving me like an outline of what I asked for, but not actually what I asked for. I had to create some weird ass filter terms to catch it. Yeah, I, I appreciate you a lot, actually. You have Seribot? I've never heard of that. Um... So it says, let me know if this fits your needs, or feel free to add any more specific details. And I said, I want an image. <laughs> and this is, I fucking lost it. Cause I'm like, what? You are so leaning, like you're doing this on purpose. This is malicious at this point. This is malicious compliance. Not even compliance, just malicious retardism. It's like, what do you, why are you adding? It, it, it turned, it turned this, this part here into this image but then it added a huge anime character in the front i don't understand 
Corpopilones, yeah. Non Coisios. <laughs> what Anne? Watney Whitnoy. Um I don't I, like it's so it's so fucking weird. There's a couple more here. It said stop adding anime characters, and then it just makes like a, a Final Fantasy like screenshot. This is like a Final Fantasy like mobile game ad. Also, I love question of the day, question mark. What it's and then it's just kanji. I don't remember what the rest of these are actually. Oh yeah, there are still anime characters. There seems to be a, a persistent glitch with the image generation tool leading to on one of results. I apologize for the frustration this may have caused. Blah blah. blah. It just keeps going into the same thing basically. And then I love again. It gave me this for some reason. It gave me like a code markdown. It's like here's a brief represent or markdown representation of the slide. You can use a tool like PowerPoint or Canva to create this based on your specific aesthetic prefer preferences. Thanks for your patience. How, how? How does this happen? Why fake kanji? Oh, I'm positive. I'm positive it's fake kanji. I, I feel like English, or I guess the English alphabet, whatever it's called. I, I know it's not English technically. It's a Latin alphabet, right? No, it's not. It's something else. I don't remember what it's called. It has a name. Um, is it like the Roman alphabet? I could be wrong. I don't know. It, uh... It's 26 characters, so it's like way easier for AI to figure out. Kanji has like thousands. There's no way it's going to know. And they're like way more complex. I don't think it's going to know any of them. Katakana? No, like what is the English like alphabet called? AI? I don't know. Do it yourself. Exactly. It was really funny. Um, but that leads to something I want to talk about. I want to start doing, again, I, I kind of mentioned this earlier. I want to start doing question of the day. Uh, first question of the day. I'm going to do this. I, I want to do this at like the top of every stream. Um, this is something that I was asked at Friendsgiving by my friends. Um, by the way, Jabili, I wish you could have been there. It was awesome. And I feel like you could have contributed a lot, uh, food wise and just company wise. It was, it was great. A question today or this or that, um, well, cut D is kind of hard to say this or that. I don't know if that fits. Is that gonna, I don't know if that plays on here. Maybe next year? That'd be cool. Does that play on this scene? I don't think it plays on this scene. I don't think I have Tangi on this scene. But I have it paused. Let me go, let's go here. Let's see what it says. Where is it? No. There it is. Anime. Characters. Pretty soon, pretty soon. No, no. stop. No. How do you do... How do you... Do you have, like, a translator for that? All right. Anyways, uh, I was I was pitched to this question by a couple friends at Friendsgiving. Um, they there was a lot of varying answers, um, but the question and this is, I'm asking this question to you guys, and I'll also give you my answer. If somebody approached you on the street, completely average-looking person, they weren't gross, they weren't hot, they weren't homeless, they weren't like rich, whatever, just a normal, average person, just say like. Straight five out of ten, middle of the road person. Not even five out of ten, because five out of ten is like in 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 social scales is like ugly. Uh, whatever. They're not ugly. They're not hot. They're just a normal dude, normal woman. Whatever. Just random average person. They hand you X amount of cash to go with them into the bathroom and wipe their ass for them. They they need you to wipe their ass clean after they shit. Uh. They're not, they, they, they don't get any sexual, like, it's not a sexual thing for them. It's just, they just need it done. How much money? English to katakana? Okay. How much money will it take for you to say yes? I'm curious. Because, like, some people had very low answers. Some people had very high answers. Mine was one of the higher answers. Um, I don't know... If that's because I'm I'm sheltered, or I, I'm just curious, like what what is your guys' number? What is I mean, I'm talking USD, but you can put whatever price you want. Because like I know Lime, you're in Australia. Um, Sixty nine thousand four hundred twenty dollars. See, that's crazy. That's really high. I would do it for twenty five grand. High hundreds, low thousands. I'm poor and kicked of you. Um, I'm kind of kind of with you, Lime. I'm thinking. Um, the number I threw out was twenty three hundred dollars because that's how much a forty ninety costs, uh, and I really want one of those. Um, but I got talked down to two k. I think two k is is pretty reasonable. Uh, somebody who was there who works in a 
uh, if I can be if I'm wrong, but I think a nursing home or they have before. Uh, she said four hundred dollars, uh, which is that's a pretty reasonable number because like I mean she's wiped asses before of strangers and that's not you know that's nothing crazy. Um, my husband, who's a nurse who does wipe asses, unfortunately I feel terrible for him. Uh, he said twenty bucks, um, which is crazy. That's that's crazy. Originally he just said like his hourly rate. But he said 20 bucks, and I, I, I don't know, I feel bad. I feel like he's been eroded inside, and now he just, like, doesn't have the will to, like, uh, say no to that kind of situation. I would basically do it for a car down payment. That's fair. Wiping my own ass is gross enough. I don't even wipe, well, I was gonna say I don't wipe my own ass. I, I do, technically. I use a bidet. I think not using a bidet is awful, and every time I have to travel, it sucks, because it's like, when you use a bidet, you rinse it all off and then you just dry it with paper towel it's com completely clean i mean it's not like disinfected but it's clean there's no residue but when you go on vacation especially if you're like you're you know you're you're doing what you do on vacation where you eat a lot of food that is maybe not the best for you and it kind of upsets your stomach a little bit so you end up having like these really just violent hot shits and you go to reach to to clean yourself and it's like it's like getting near the oven where like there's like heat radiating off of like my ass and it fe it's the worst feeling in the entire world because when you use the bidet that is not there it completely gets rid of all of that heat it's awful if it was a family member or a friend no no it has to be a, just a random stranger that you don't know family member or friend in a uh, in a bad way it's a different story absolutely yeah i would not do it to a stranger for a large amount i would not do it to a stranger except for a large amount i'm guessing i want a bidet so bad i can't wait for when my partner and i can get one uh the one that i have is well actually the one that i have is like 50 bucks but there's a 30 dollar ish one on amazon uh, i think it's called like lux bidet like lux neo 120 or something like that um it's very cheap very effective and extremely easy to set up all you do is turn off like the tap next to the toilet take the hose off of the toilet itself plug it into the bidet plug a hose from the bidet into the toilet, uh, take off the seat, enter the seat pegs like through the bidet, and then tighten them back on and you're good to go. It's like a maybe, if you're not experienced with that kind of stuff, maybe like a 20 minute process at the most, um, but you could probably get it done in 10 if you know what you're doing. It's very easy. Uh, super, I, I, I completely, highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's very, it just like kind of changes the game. Um, I, being a, uh, well, I guess growing up, uh, being a, a fat kid and a fat young adult, uh, I, I'm kind of chubby now, but I used to be like a, 80 pounds heavier. Um, Swamp Ass and I were like this. We were buddies. We were intertwined and there was no separating us. As soon as I got up a day, that was gone. It was, there was no more of it because I'm pretty sure it's just caused by like residue it's that you just doesn't get removed when you wipe and it just kind of sits in there and mixes with like sweat and stuff it's awful you're not chubby now i've seen you no i'm definitely chubby i i'm i could i could stand to lose like 40 pounds at least i i would like to lose 50 probably um but i do have a lot of loose skin too i can't really tell where that comes like where the line is i don't know 40 yeah I'm uh, 220 right now. I used to be 185, like, a couple years ago. I'm also, like, 6'3", so that kind of puts it into perspective a little bit. Um, okay, last thing, before we play the game, uh, I'm going to just launch it here so it's ready. Uh, I just want to talk about, and I, I don't think anybody here... No, no one, no one is here from th Friendsgiving. Uh, I was going to tell them to... Uh, well, I guess, yeah, Coda's here. Um, the food was insane. I think it was the best, like... Best Friendsgiving I've ever been to. I haven't been to that many. I've been to like four, three or four. Uh, best Friendsgiving I've been to because there was just like a lot of people there. It was like all of my friends that live in this area were there and it was really nice to see everyone and just hang out. Uh, the food though was kind of insane. It was the best Thanksgiving food that I've ever had. Just every individual thing that I ate was the best version of that that I think I've ever had especially at Thanksgiving, and 
it was a potluck style. Like everyone just brought their own. So all of my friends brought something just amazing and it was so fucking cool. Did I share that uh, when I got weighed right before surgery, I was down a total of 10 kilograms. I was like, Pog? Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Jubilio, you do not... No, see, that's... See, this is weird. Jubilio is looking at me saying like, dude, you do not need to lose 40. That's like impossible. I'm looking at Jubilio. I'm saying, dude, you don't need to lose 40. That's impossible. It seems impossible. What did you bring for the potluck? Uh, well, me and my husband together brought green bean casserole. That one's kind of, that's the one that's like, wasn't necessarily like, oh, wow, this is amazing compared to everything else because it was like, it, there's literally three ingredients. You can't really do anything super special with it, except for the fact that we smoked it to bake it. We, or we baked it in the smoker um, because there was no oven space. Uh, green bean casserole, of course, with the crispy onions on top. Very simple. Uh, I made chorizo stuffing. So it's just like a pound and a half of chorizo, or maybe maybe two pounds of chorizo. Cook it up, set it aside, and then make stuffing like you usually would, and then add the chorizo back in. It's fucking amazing because the, the oil from the chorizo like kind of soaks into the stuffing and the bread and makes it just like delicious and, and incredible. Um, and then I also made something called funeral potatoes, or it's also called party potatoes, and I think also it's called wedding potatoes. It kind of just is like the the cheese potato dish that if you want to make people happy or cheer them up or celebrate you make this because it's fucking so good it is uh it's shredded potatoes like um like if you're making um what is it called Ma uh, uh, uh hash browns like the the little strips of potatoes that they like for breakfast right you like fry them up on both sides and you get like this big mat of potatoes that are crispy on the outside and then fluffy on the inside you take a frozen bag of those and then you mix it with a cheese sauce that has like two cups of cheese and some sour cream and milk and stuff in it and you put it in a casserole dish and then crush up a bunch of uh, parmesan and like thick kettle chips like kettle sea salt uh, potato chips on top and then you bake that for like 30 minutes to 40 minutes until everything is completely cooked and like just bubbling boiling cheese and like butter and stuff and that is, oh my god, it is so good. I tried to make it last year for Friendsgiving, and I did, um, but I overcooked it or something because the potatoes all kind of like dissolved, and it became just like a potato mush. Um, if I'm able to attend in the future, I'll have to bring my own kraut, my usual kraut spread. That would be awesome. One of our friends also brought like a charcuterie board, which is crazy. No Thanksgiving in uh, Australia, obviously, but we do have a friends miss and an orphan Christmas, and it's the same. My partner and I always bring, provide potato bake, uh, and the meat with him being chef and his granddad a butcher, oh, that's awesome. We could get some good salads as well. I love a good salad. Um, but some other friends brought, like, somebody brought, like, a chocolate cake with, like, a ton of chocolate chips inside of it, and then, like, a cream cheese frosting on top. Uh, someone brought, again, charcuterie board. Somebody brought, like, mac and cheese that was, had a fucked up amount of cheese in it, it was awesome. It had bacon, like, smoked bacon inside. Uh, breadcrumbs on top. It was like one of the baked mac and cheeses. And um, uh, my one of the, the host, my friend, cooked a or he smoked a turkey, a whole turkey, which was to die for. It was so juicy. He like branded the night before. Uh, and then his friend who was there like a day ahead of everyone uh, with with the turkey, they also smoked a I think it was a pork butt that had like crispy skin on top. Um, there was uh, like southern style collard greens which having southern um family southern lineage uh it was like some of the best collard greens i ever had i have to say uh the only thing that it didn't have that i'm usually used to which wasn't even really a deal breaker was uh there's usually a lot of acid a lot of like vinegar in collard greens um there wasn't any in this one but it was still really really good uh there was also gravy of course uh, what else was there i think there was like, oh, oh, yeah, one of my friends also brought this, like, I don't even know what it is. It's, like, butter with, like, nutmeg and cinnamon and sugar in it, but it's, like, it's thin and, like, spreadable, and you can put it on, like, biscuits and bread and stuff, and it's, oh, my God. It was just, the food was just all so fucking good. Like, friend, uh, I'll take pics of friends miss food but this, this year, because we have some great chefs in our friend group. Infused butter is delicious. I'm actually going to see... Um... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit up one of my friends that was there, the host. I'm going to see if he has pictures of the food, because I'm going to show you guys. 
But while the game loads, I don't know why this game takes so fucking long to load. Oh, it's actually moving now, okay. Alright, I asked him. Hopefully he'll get that to me before stream ends so I can show you guys. I usually do it for Christmas, but the holidays, my favorite spread is Ruladin, Spatzel, and Rotkoll. I only know what Spatzel is. Spatzel's great. It's... No, I, I don't know what Ruladin is. I know what a Roulade is. I'm assuming it's something that's rolled, considering the root word. I don't know what Rotkoll is, though. Roll it in as rolled meat rolls. Okay, that's that's what I thought. Because a roulade is like a big meat roll. I did that um a couple years ago for Friendsgiving. We did um it was a turducken, because I've done turducken too. Actually, I meant to show you guys the turducken that I made years ago, but I don't know where that picture is. Wood coal is a nice spice red cabbage. Oh, so it's just German food. It's like what you get at um uh Hofbrau House. I fucking love Hofbrau House. But yeah, one year we did a, a turducken with like a roulade. Instead of doing the whole bird, we just got like a chicken breast and then a turkey breast on the outside and then duck around that, I think. And the duck skin on the outside was great. But good because it's homemade. Uh, the game is just not moving, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, right. No, I remember now. It's just, it is super laggy until it actually fully loads. I wonder if this does this still hurt you? I need I, I need uh, iron tools like desperately. I'm tired of the stone stuff breaking all the time. Can I even make a shovel? No. What do I need? Wood and stone. I have lots of fiber now. Wait, they changed the symbol for fiber. This used to be like a uh, a green kind of plant like thing, but now it's 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 got this now. All right, let's head back to the farm or the farm base the farm what do they call it farm tower right i don't really know what my goal is today i think i want to appease the shit the the poop emoji character um because i i want to know what he does i have to know that's why i have it in the title like literally there's lit okay I don't know if anyone, like, I think Lime and, and Jubel, you guys weren't here last stream, at least towards the end. There is a literal, it's, it, I'm not being like a, I'm not making a meme, I'm not saying it looks like this. It is actually a big, huge piece of shit that is alive in the game. And it's requesting me to get stuff for it. I kid you not, I am like, I, I was going to say I shit you not, but that's a little bit too on the nose. Yeah, there's a couple things that I really want them to fix in this game, and the main one is your weapon disappearing whenever you climb something. It's like if I climb this, my weapon's gone. It's not in my hand. At least it doesn't look like I'm holding it anymore. That's good. My, my arm isn't just like straight out to the side holding a weapon. Um, but it looks like I'm not holding anything. So I go to re-equip the item, and it unequips it, which is really dumb. But pieces of corn in it. It did have pieces of corn and eyeballs all over it too. Weird shit. My partner's old job is working in a production kitchen making pâtés, black pudding, etc. Oh, I love black pudding. And he used to uh, work markets, so we have lots and lots of niche food connections. One being lard butter. And they do infused butters. My god, it's so good. What is lard butter? Is it just butter with lard in it? Or is it like lard turned into butter somehow? Okay, there's more mask merchants. I'm gonna just not buy masks because so far they don't seem to do anything. My goal today though for sure is I want to restore the, the town that we found. Which this works now, right? Yeah, I restore the restore the new town that we found and I want to get iron tools and I also want to satiate the shit. It's their company, but they're a dairy company, so they sell butter, milk, and they're lard. Oh, okay. Oh, the name of the company is called Lard Butter. Is that what you're saying? Did they change the hotkeys? Oh, 
they did. Okay, that's so fucking weird. Okay, they're changing a lot of stuff, which is good, because a lot of it was really dog shit, like really bad. I'm glad they're changing things. I wish they would make them better still. Okay, we have a lot of iron. I hope I hope that's enough to get us started once we actually can produce iron. I also hope that we get storage at some point that is connected to the portal so we don't have to like travel around to get everything. Uh, okay, we need wood, rocks, and fiber, which I think we have. Do we have enough to make another shovel? No, we need more wood. I think I think I have some. I don't know where. No, I actually don't think I do. I do not. Okay. Let's go up here. Uh, I also want to upgrade this again. I don't remember what I have to do, though. They do capsaicin bell peppers infused with... Or infused butter. Oh, that sounds really good. I love bell peppers. I think they're one of the best uh, peppers. Like, just, I mean... Obviously, there's not that much flavor or heat there, but they're just so versatile, and they're delicious in almost everything. Vanilla butter as well? That sounds really good. I've had vanilla sugar, but not vanilla butter. The company's called Lard Butter. That's such a... It's like such an Invader Zim company. Once I made Craft Dinner with lard instead of butter by accident, it sounds really good, though. They have gigantic black garlic-infused butter. That shit's delicious. I mean, it all sounds really good, honestly. Okay, what do we have to do for this? We have to... Wait, are we done? Oh, we are done. Ah, oh, most resplendent. I see you've improved the surrounding ecosystem to the point where we may now grow the tree. The last thing I shall need is a spot of amity and some other items, if you do not mind. Oh, right. We need the raro fruit. Uh, I don't know where that's from still. I think it might be from this tree. Because there's another bud... That we can grow with a hundred more amity, but I don't have a hundred amity. I don't know how to get a hundred amity. I'm guessing I gotta. Well, you know, I can just take out some of the enemy camps, right? A little um, like nest things. I don't know where those are though. I don't remember where they are. It's been a while. Family business. My partner has spent the last four years watching their teenage son grow up. It's so cute, and they've they're so reasonably priced. Mainland is where the fruits are? Okay. I do still want to grow that other tree, though, and see what's up with it. Wow, it is getting... It's it's darker than... Oh, never mind. It just it got really dark, and then I think the moonlight kicked on, and now it's light again. Oh, I should have chopped some trees while I was up there, because I, uh, I need to build an axe, or a shovel. Where are all the nests? There's one, like, down here, isn't there? There was in the past. I'm gonna go check. I don't know what causes them to respawn. I don't know if it's, like, gaining or losing Amity causes them to respawn, or if it's just good time, or what. So I see a bunch of glowing sparkles right here. I wanna figure out what it is. Is it just the water reflecting? I think it is. Yeah, okay. Oh, also, I'm on the lookout for seashells. I think I need, like, ten or more of them. I think they're going to be really hard to see at night, though. Because even during the day, they're kind of hard to see. The only other thing that stands out is that they're kind of pink. <laughs> but, uh... The moonlight is very... It kind of washes everything out in this color, this blue color. Can I chop this down yet? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Uh, that needs to die. There we go. Should I look for the triangle indicator thing? Are we talking about for, um... Going to the mainland? I don't know how to get there. I've already been there. I just need to, uh... Okay, I want to wrap up some stuff on the little island here first before we go over there. Can't harvest that yet. I could have swore there was more, like, beach over here. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Wait, where am I? I'm kind of lost. 
Wait, how the fuck did I get up here? I thought I was over here. Okay, I'm super lost now. I'm not lost, but I'm in a different place than I thought it was. Check for the triangle indicator thing for shells. Oh, right. I forgot about that little, uh, that little thing. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. By the way, I've been watching the Last of Us TV show, finally. I mean, it's been out for a while, but um, it's really fucking good. If, no, if anyone hasn't seen it, I'd recommend it, like, a lot. I'm, I'm assuming everyone has seen it, that everyone that wants to see it has seen it by now, because it was, like, famously good. I just took a long time for me to watch it. I'm really bad with that kind of stuff. Like, I, I, I'm, it takes me so long to get into a show. Not, like, so many episodes into the show to, 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 like, enjoy it, but... People need to beg for me to watch shows, and I'll be like, nah, I'll watch it later, I'll watch it later. I don't really feel like watching a show right now. And as soon as I put the first episode on, or somebody, like, finally gets me to watch it, they're just like, just watch one episode, just watch one. Um, I'm, like, I, I sink my teeth into it so hard that that's, like, all I want to do for the next week or whenever it's done. Never finished it, I should start from the beginning again. Um, it's in it pretty short, isn't it? Like nine episodes? A bit of that one, right? Okay, yeah. We're so not... Okay, I need to go back to the farm. I actually I have no idea how I got so turned around. It's really weird. I know I was looking for these nests, which I guess they kind of exist everywhere, but... I think there's another one over here, around the corner. Unless it's gone still? There it is. And that should be all we need to restore the tree. Or restore the uh, the one tree, the um, the, the weird like little squ squirrely one. I really wish these would not spawn when you're disassembling it, or at least when you're disassembling it, that the uh, progress of disassembling it would stay. It gets reset every time you let go. Alright. Now we have enough. I don't know why there's a portal up on top of that tower there, that, like, mountain. I don't know what it's for. Like, there's nothing up there. Maybe there is eventually, but there's nothing now. Seems kind of pointless. Maybe it's just a way to quickly get back once you do discover the village up in the, in the mainland. I'm keeping an eye out for more nests on the way back. Ooh, I want to kill that guy, too. Oh, my bow works now. I remember last stream, my bow stopped working towards the end, and I couldn't do anything about it. Shit, that hurts. Wow, that actually almost killed me. Holy fuck. No! Like, the body was, like, in the way. I couldn't move. I'm gonna die. No, I'm good. I can't believe how much things hurt you in this game. It's crazy. And there's no, like, warning that my health is low. It's just... Like, they, they got rid of the heartbeat thing when your health is low, and it just never came back. I thought they adjusted it so it was just a higher threshold. But it's just gone now. Like, it seems like they, they fix bugs or improve, like, little quality of life things, but, like, they go too far, and they just, like, completely remove it from the game. Why there's so many guys? Maybe it's because it's nighttime. I still hate where I put this thing. I don't remember this being so tall. I don't think it was this tall. It's empty? This has never had anything on it. Alright, uh, I can... Let me make it daytime. Some very Outer Wilds music.
Oh, Midhaven, right. That's the name of the town that we found. I forgot that it's just like been at the top left of my screen the whole time. The game recommended putting the tree up there, and I really regret doing it, because every time I go up there, I have to climb now, and it just uses up extra stamina and time. Oh, should I put it, like, over here by the lake? But now I know what I'm doing, so... Subsequent trees are probably going to be in a better spot, and just... The f new towers and villages are going to be better spots, too. It's all really just, it was, like, haphazard. Hopefully, growing this thing allows me to make the tree bigger or different or something. Grows in... Th there we go. How big is it going to get? Okay. Pretty big. Now what, though? Is this something that we're... Okay, it grows in an hour. Damn. That's a long time. Hey? Oh, you get thatch from that. Okay. What's a pastu tree? It's all kinds of new stuff up here. There's wood. Temperate seed. Fibrous bolt? What am I harvesting? Is it... This is new, too. Oh, I don't have a shovel. Still don't have a shovel. There we go. Wait, I lost fiber? Why did I lose four fiber? Was it from crafting? Or was it from digging this up? What? It had to have been from crafting. How much is it? Yeah, okay, it's from crafting. I, th I thought I lost it from digging up. It's so hard to tell where items are on the ground. I know there's stuff, like, everywhere, but I, it's so hard to figure out what I can and can't collect. I guess there's little blue arrows and stuff, but those are kind of hard to see, too. Bushroom. That's new. Did it say alien fungi? What do you mean, alien? Isn't everything alien? I'm just grabbing a bunch of food, too, because we're going to need more at some point. I really... Like I said, I want to make sure that the next tree that I plant is somewhere open. So I think there's a lot of stuff down, like, at the bottom of the cliff here that I can also harvest, but I just... I, it's a pain in the ass to check every time. I think I'm happy with that. Inventory's full. Oh, there's dung here. We need dung. Uh, let's get rid of... Actually, just feed these roots to them. No, I don't want to eat it. God damn it. There we go. We can pick up dung. There's gotta be more dung, right? I threw some food out earlier. Somewhere? Maybe? I'm completely out of amity. Wait, does digging up mushrooms and stuff get rid of amity too? Fuck off. What are you what no, don't don't fight me. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't understand why these guys fight you. Like I'm like helping them. I'm completely out of amity. Rough draw, uh what can we drop? Let's plant some seeds. I just immediately no never mind. I thought I immediately unequipped them. I think that animation's new. I don't think it used to do this. It used to just, like, plop them down immediately. Also, what if they fixed the habitat budget? No, they did not. Fresh bush. An odd phrase. Rough jaw. Oh, it was just meat. Whatever. 
All right, we'll come back to this later. I just wanted to harvest some stuff. Wait. Oh, oh, wait. One of the big things that I was asking for last stream, last time I was playing this, a big quality of life thing, is just automatically use the tool for the job instead of having to switch to it. I think that's the case. So, like, I, can, I have a pickaxe, right? I can mine with it. And then I can walk up to... Come on, give me literally anything to interact with. Where, where's, like, one of those root balls or whatever? Come on. I know there's a bunch, like, around here. There's one up here, right? <laughs> there was! Where'd they go? Oh, here it is. No, it's a stick. God damn it. Where's, like, the, the stuff to dig on? This area has gotten way more green than it was before. Sorry, I have to find one of these. I just need to, I need to confirm. Sitting relatively comfortably at my computer for the first time in two-ish weeks. Hell yeah. How's the... I mean, I assume that the recovery is... At least not, no, you know, no complications, right? But is it, is it, is it seem like it's healing pretty fast? I don't know why I'm climbing. Why am I climbing? How do I have not found, like, a root ball or, or berries or anything yet? <laughs> I've been looking around the whole time. Maybe we just won't find any, I guess. But yeah, I hate being, like, not able to sit at my computer. Like, if, either if I'm sick or just recovering from something or, or for whatever reason, I just, like... It's the only place that I can spend a lot of time other than, like, maybe in bed. Even then, like, I don't know, laying in bed too long hurts my back. Uh, it's the only place I can spend a lot of time without, like, my body starting to, like, ache and become uncomfortable. Why did I get a seed? Weird. Damn, okay, uh, maybe you get, like, assassination damage or, like, stealth damage for killing the things that don't see you? Did I just one-hit that guy? A lot of them around here, what the hell? No complications so far. Another four weeks in the brace and on crutches. But Physio on Monday, she told me that I can take the brace off and set up my computer as long as I keep my legs straight. So I have the tub of, I, I, uh, wait. I, I have a tub and a thick pillow and my leg just hanging out. Nice. There are a lot of bad guys right now. Like, for the midday, too. can't pick that up, but that's fine. I don't really care. I'm just trying to find anything that I can use my shovel on. I don't know why I can't find a single thing. I'm just gonna go back to the farm. But it seems like... Oh, here. I can... Okay, I'm holding the sword. It switches automatically. Okay, we're good to go. I, that's all I wanted to know. They, they, that's like, I think one of the biggest things that I was wanting in this game, to make it just more quality of life, and I'm, I'm so glad they did. So having to go into this wheel every time you walk up to a new resource to pick it up was awful. All right, I think I'm going to go to Midhaven and do that whole quest line first. Once I get all the stuff put away. See, the, 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 the having to... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Has this been in the game, or is this new? The quick stack and take all thing, is that new? Oh, that's so nice. I think it's new. I, I'm, unless I maybe I just didn't see it before, but I think it's new. It's super nice. Now I can, I can actually quick sort into chests. I don't have to constantly, like, figure out which chest is holding what items. That's fantastic. I'm actually so jazzed with how responsive the developers of this game are being. They're very quickly fixing, like, really annoying problems, which arguably shouldn't have really been in there in the first place, to be completely fair. But the fact that they're fixing them so quickly is 
really, really cool. Right, we want to keep fiber, wood, and... Uh, what is it? Rocks? And sticks on us? That way, if our tools do break, we can remake them again. Shit. I don't know where... Where are my sticks and rocks? And wood. I don't have my rocks. Where's my wood? Am I out again? How? I guess I am. I'm out of sticks and wood? Or did they, did they change the icon? So this isn't wood, this is just bark. I guess I am. Whatever. Alright, let's go to Midhaven. Actually, I need another pickaxe, because this one's going to break in a second. I need another one to clear out the debris there. What do I need to make it? Just wood. Okay. This is almost broken too, though. Oh, now there's a bunch of stuff I can dig up. Why wasn't this here before? Wait, what do- oh! Wait, sticks don't give you sticks anymore, it's all just wood. I think that's new. Or like, relatively new. I guess everything's new, this game's only like a week old. I got told to clean the brace too, which is awesome. It's like this thick, non-breathable foam, and it was 35 degrees Celsius, that sucks. Yeah, I had to wear a boot for a while, as a kid. Uh, that shit is awful. It's just, it's such a bummer having to wear a huge boot on your leg all the time. It did get me out of having to do the mile at school, though, which is cool. Where do you get sticks, then? I don't think there's sticks in the game anymore. I think they, they used to be part of the crafting for these basic tools, but I think they just... You can either chop down wood, or chop down trees to get wood, or you can pick up sticks off the ground to get wood, kind of like an arc. So it's, it's, it's all the same item now. There's no point in having two different ones. Because that just makes it so that, like, early game, you have an extra... Uh, you lose one inventory slot because you just have to hold sticks all the time. Make sure the game volume is fine. Seems okay, right? This could be a little louder. Nice, I like that. Yeah, me too. I think they've been doing a really good job with changing things that need to be changed. These plants, these fiber plants, need to change color, I think, once uh, the area becomes green like this to make it so they're easier to see. They're a little hard to see when they're just kind of brown. All right, let's go to Midhaven. How do you use this? There we go. Oh, there's also the fishing quest, too. There's actually a lot to do. There's a lot of things I can do. Paul can name a thousand species of plants by age eight? I doubt it. It seems... That's, like, impossible. I don't think anyone can do that with anything. Sprite has been the forest god's personal assistant for nearly 400 years. Have we only been gone for that long? Oh, no, I guess we have, because the old lady, I can't remember her name, She's um she was alive when they were last on the mainland here. Who are you? Why do you look so... Oh, right, I forgot all the NPCs look fucked up in this game. They have, like, weird-ass expressions and stuff all the time. They're like very slightly like ape-ish. I don't know why. So we can get rid of these. I don't know if this um gives me anything or not, but we can get rid of all of them for the quest. Oh, I guess he's one stone. Okay. At least I get I don't know literally anything out of it. Also, I don't think clearing eight little piles of rock is enough when this place looks the way that it does. Like, look, what about all the other huge... Like, what about all this shit? Like, I don't, I don't even touch this. I just, I'm getting rid of, like, uh, basically bricks on the ground. 
There's also gonna be more than eight of these, right? I've, I see like five from standing right here. Yeah, okay. There's, uh, I don't know if we have to dis do play the rest of these later, or if it's just gonna go away once I get the eighth one. No, they're still here. Talk to Koru. Who? Where's Koru? This is the forest god, and then we can talk to... Is this Koru? Yeah, okay. It's the portal lady, right? No, it's someone else. Oh, this is the old lady. This is the old guy. The guy that told us about the rock that we have on our ass. Oh, young guys, to be back at Midhaven is a treat from the spirits, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, I should probably tell you what I'm selecting, because you can't see it, really, huh? I guess I can move myself over a little bit, right? Hopefully that helps. We'll check in a second. I had a vision I must share with you. Listen to me, youngest. In the vision, I'm standing right here in Midhaven. The sun beams down on me, and then above my head, not one Jabunga flies, but several. Ooh. A herd of Jabunga, more than has ever been seen together in recorded history. The Shimu all drop what they're doing and rejoice. I know not what it means, but I can see the sense its oh. importance. As we know, the Jabunga were hunted to extinction by Queen Chilaku's hunters even before the weather drove us from this land. Still, I wonder... Still, I would like you to explore and find any information you can on the Jabunga. Even if the Jabunga are all gone, there are sure to be relics of their time here scattered about Agazba. If anyone knows where those relics might be, it is the four gods of nature. I believe you've met Holdra, the forest god. You've yet to meet the other gods of the sea, the sky, and the mountain. Each has its unique temperament, and all those and all have been known to have a temper. So the temperament is all just them being pissy. So tread carefully around them. I've marked on your map where the sea god, sky god, and forest god often spend their days in my time. Uh, find these gods and ask if they know anything about the Jubanga. I don't even know. What is the Jubanga? What is it? I, don't, I have no idea. If nothing else, the Jubanga are the most important part of our history, which must be preserved. Why is this the only instance of Jubanga where it isn't cap or like orange? Be sure to speak to Olsen when you can about how to best preserve that history, youngest. She is over by the museum trying to salvage what she can of it. Uh, okay. I don't know what a Jubunga is. Also, I want to check the map. I want to see where those markers actually are. So, there's the sea, the sky, and where's the mountain? I, I was hoping it was going to be, like, out in this area where it doesn't look like there's any more map. Because there's no way this is the whole game. I, I There has to be more out here. Because th this would be too small of a map, even though it's pretty big still, it would be too small. Forest God's there, of course. I don't I don't know where the mountain one is. It's not over here, right? It's not this mountain, this sh shitty little shrine. Yeah, no idea. Whatever, we'll find it eventually. Uh, I want to go to... Th this one? No. I want to go to this one. There's no markers, right? Yeah. I don't know if getting a new CPU will fix, like, micro stuttering in this game. I don't think it will. I think the game is just not optimized super well. Oh, there's, like, a cool-looking, like... You know the forest in Avatar where there's all the, like, the, the, the purple, like, glowing trees? Oh, that's a new creature. This is also new. Can I scan plants? I guess I can't. Oh, fuck. As long as I walk sideways, I should be fine, right? These things are scary up close. But yeah, the, there's like the purple forest, like the... the what is her name? Awa? The the spirit, whatever they worship there. Um, kind of looks like that over there. 
that like kind of glowing tree. I think that's where the forest is going to be. Where did you come from? Oh, it's, a, it's literally a skirt towel, bro, uh, a burrow. That's like, that's why he was in there, because he was living in there. I just dug up his home. It's showing me what they like to eat now, I think. Can I climb? No? Okay. See at the bottom, it shows like berries and simple fruit treat. It's kind of cool. I don't think that was there before. Damn, the stuttering is really bad in this area. I'm gonna fall. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. It was a uh, stamina. I really like the stamina bar in Breath of the Wild because it is right in the center of the screen, so you can't not see it. So you always know how much you have. I feel like when it's down on the bottom left, it's easy to just kind of forget about. You just evicted him? I did. I'm, I feel bad. I almost killed him too, but that would have been too far. This is not Landlord Simulator. Why are there bones everywhere? What is this? What the fuck is this? It's like body horror shit. It's like wiggling around too. What the fuck? Alright, well we have to take this out. I don't know how I shot him through that thing, but it's fine, I guess. I'll take it. Whoa, 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 relax. I don't know how- I think- I think these ones cause the other Resolith to spawn, too. I think the big guys, not just the little ones. I'm seeing a lot of cool stuff over there. I want to check that out soon. I hate when keyboards have a little knob on them to control volume. Because every time, like right now, you guys can't see it. I, I mean, if I shift over here, you guys see that little thing popping up at the top of the corner under chat? It just keeps like happening where for some reason, the computer thinks that that knob is being twisted just randomly. That's going to kill me. No, I'm good. Wait, this is like a medium-sized Razzleth. Where'd he go? Okay, bye. I guess. That was like smaller than the big ones, but bigger than the small ones. Also, it's not popping up anymore. I was lying, I guess. But it just keeps, I don't know, it keeps showing up in the top left corner of my screen. Weed? There was nothing in that. I just got, I picked up nothing from the thing that I picked up, apparently. What is that thing? Wait, this isn't even where the cool tree was. But this is apparently where the forest god is? Like, up in here? This is kind of a depressing home. This is like... You you go to, like, your, your idol's house, right? Like, some rich... Where the fuck did I just go? You get invited to go over to, like, fucking Jeff Bezos' house, right? For, like, a party? And he gives you an address and you show up and it's like a janitor closet, like in a, a public school. Or like a box in the corner of like a, an alleyway. Like, I, I thought this guy was going to be living in like a cool ass like forest, like with a bunch of magical trees and stuff. This area also looks completely different than it did like seconds ago. Oh, Raro Fruit, bring me more on the double. Oh, wait, this is the fruit that I need. Wait, he's just being a glutton and eating food? He's not trying to, like, help? Here to destroy more of my creation? Well, you're too late. It's already all demolished. But you and your little... Friends. I mean, you're not helping either. You're just kind of being fat and eating your own fruit. Hey, now, don't insult my closest friend. Rarofruit has done more for me than any human. 
The bits like sustaining him? Even more than Chua. The best one of all your pungent parasites. Your stubborn reminds me of her. You're saying uh, Jua was the previous, like, Sheikah slate holder? You're better than most humans, but you're nothing like her. You're nothing close. This guy's just grumpy that his, like, friend died. <laughs> Rero Fruit, you bring light to the dark. Rero Fruit, you are the king of my heart. This guy, this is like, imagine... This is not fruit. Imagine that this guy is holding a crack pipe. And he's singing about, like, methamphetamines. Rero Fruit, you evaporate my strife. <laughs> Rero Fruit, you are my wife. But you can see the options now, kind of. Just, are you okay? And then I can ask him about the Jubanga. Uh, I'm gonna ask him about the... I'm just gonna see if he's okay first. <laughs> no! I'll be okay when you get more of Rero Fruit, oh stinking one. You have all of it. I need, I need it from you. That's why I'm here. Wait, can you really just not reach the one that's up there? Wait, where'd it go? I swear I saw one a second ago. I, maybe not. Okay, I want to ask him about the Jubanga now. I probably have to get him the fruit first. Oh, I can't even ask him now. Cool. Um, her fruit probably grows here, right? Somewhere, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Wait, there's like another marker on the map over here, like really close. Is it this? No. Oh, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? Did you say something happened to his friend? I missed it. Uh, yeah, the somebody he was called called Jua, I think was. I I think maybe the previous owner of like the little Sheikah slate thing that I have, the little um, Amity crystal. Uh, this guy, I forgot how weird this guy looks. Everyone looks so weird in this game. Um, and he was lamenting about how she was the best of all of us parasites, referring to us humans. I never thought I'd see a god of nature in such a sorry state. What a confusing sight, friend. He's positively intoxicated off this rarer fruit. My uncle once taught me a great trick for relieving intoxication. He said that if you chew the leaf of an alay plant, you'll be back to your senses in a matter of moments. Perhaps we could collect some alay... Uh, leaves for the forest god. I saw some growing up by Midhaven. Maybe then he'll realize we do care about him and we do want to nurture the plant life here. <laughs> Let's waste no time, friend. Let's get Holdra sober. I, I just, I have like a ton of that. I just don't have it on me, which sucks. Alright, I need to, I want to check out that cool like blue tree. Where that, that was up there, right? Maybe that's where the raro fruit comes from, is the blue tree. I need three of it. I wonder if Sprite, the little, um, like, green Pikmin guy, I wonder if he's trying to become a god. Maybe that's why he needs rare fruit? Maybe it's something to do with, like, godhood? I don't know. I don't know if that's how this world works or not. I think I'm gonna fall. Shit! Oh, God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna climb up a different way, maybe? I just didn't get hurt. I don't think. I would love, like, if I could get, like, climbing boots or something. What? Why did everything just change into, like, what the fuck is going on? Maybe she wants to get strong too. Are those bones? I think so. They're like bones that are like wiggling around and there's like, it's like body horror shit. It's really weird. And it's surrounding the forest gods like den. But I think it's has something more to do with whatever the fuck I'm about to find up here. Okay, how do I not fall over and over again? Why is this area so spooky? Hopefully I can stand up here. God damn it. At least there's no like fall damage. I don't know how to get up there. I'm just gonna go around, I guess. Being too stubborn. It's all super tall though. 
It almost seems like you're supposed to have like a climbing upgrade before you get up here, maybe? Or a stamina upgrade? Or maybe I can just go this way. Please let me stand here. Fuck off, why? I don't understand why it won't let me stand on like relatively flat areas. Whoa. Dude, this world is super cool. Okay, I have to be able to sit on that, right? There's no way I can't sit up here. There we go. I found my way up. It's just, there's only like one spot you can get up. There's another blue tree down there, too. Alright, let's see what the fuck was going on with... Is this like a... Oh, wait, this is where the hands are. This is another hand. Are you... Oh, fuck. They're enemies, though, this time. Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh, right. Maybe that's like a boss area or something? I don't know. That was crazy. Uh, well, let's not go back there. That's probably a bad place to be. I'm gonna get some of that... a lay plant or whatever. I think that's one right there. I wasn't expecting those to be an enemy, first of all, and then I wasn't expecting- Oh wait, this is a rare fruit. Oh. Okay. It's just sitting out. Just like, kind of... Like, on the floor, I guess. There's an lay leaf. I don't know how much I need of that, but let's grab a couple. What is this guy doing? Oh, this is the Jubanga person. Okay. Looks like we can maybe rebuild a museum. That's kind of cool. Or at least scavenge one. Sometimes I harvest stuff and I don't get anything out of it. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's like a bug. It's another fruit, right? This one? Yeah, okay. We need two more, or one more, I mean. It's a huge fiber. I want to check out this guy because it looks like he has a little ranch thing. And I know that there are mounts in this game. I wonder if he's going to help me get a mount. See, there's noble beasts. These are Herolopes. Herolopes is nobler. Wait, they is nobler than you or me? More majestic than the sun. Yes, ma'am. Okay, this guy's supposed to be like a, a hick, I guess. Problem is I don't get a, a take a place. Wait, I don't get a place to take care of these tender magnanimous equestrians. If you can rebuild the Midhaven stable, I can make it worth your while. Hooves is a lot faster than feats if you catch my drift. I do catch your drift. A mount for your troubles. What is this? Even after all these years, the smell of Herolop dung permeates the air. Rebuild. Okay. Thatch and wood? That is such a deal. Holy shit, that's so cheap. I don't know if there's any trees around here, but there's plenty of sticks. I think. I think I need only one more. There actually aren't any trees out here. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing there's like zero. Which I'm, I'm positive that we're going to have trees. Like we can plant them here, but I, I don't know how to get another one of those big seeds. For, like, the god tree thing. So just, 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 like, there's no way this just gives me a mount immediately, right? Oh my god, that's so nice. I was expecting it to just be, like, a slightly more built-up version of what there was. By spirits, now this is Swanky Diggs from my here hero lopes. This here is one of my prized lopes. Dunn named her Sh Shing Shingo B. She's all yours now. Walk up onto her and press... Oh. Oh. Did you guys see that? It was like the image ID for a second. Press E and then it'll be off off into the races. I raced her since she was no bigger than a grape. Taught her to come anytime she hears a whistle. 
So yeah, there he goes. Image ID equals mount. So use that X when you want to hear or when you hear nearby, and she'll come no matter where you find yourself. I'm sorry, I'm fixing to weep. I love this, this in here, Harolope, but you deserve her. Right on out of here before I get ballin'. Somebody your mom by pressing X and interact with her to start writing. Cool. Oh, fuck yeah. It's like extra cool looking too. It's just like a way cooler looking than the other ones too. Look at that. That's like a regular hair lope. Sounds like a zebra hair lope. Fuck yeah. Can I climb though? That's the question. She's so cute. I kind of love her, yeah. This is so much faster. I love this already. All right, we need to go to over here, I think. Back to the guy. So I got plenty of the alien leaves, whatever they're called. This is really fast. I love this. I don't know what happens. Like, what if I jump off like a side, like at this though? Is it just okay? You just fall. Does it have health? Oh, it's just fast as fuck. Okay. It doesn't give a shit about anything. a lot of these blue trees like all over the place now that I'm looking around. I'm guessing they all are the same thing where they're kind of like cursed. Plumpet, that's a good name. That's an important creature right there. What do you guys do? Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know why they just disappear. Shingo B is such a great name for that thing, too. Funny. Oh, yip, yip, tree. Rare fruit for me. Huh? Oh, I think he's just supposed to be drunk or something. Seeking human is back. Do you, what do you have for me there, stinker? More rare fruit? Uh, I don't... Please don't take my rare fruit. Large gratuity, stinking human. Now fork it over. Mmm. Mm, why do I feel crushingly normal? Human, you tricked me. I should have known you'd ruin my good time with... Like, all you ruin that is good. You see the vast area of deadness around the oasis we're standing in? It was all it was once all like this flourish, flourishing sacred forest. So you humans came along and over harvested all my forest to oblivion. Now that's all that's left is a small patch of life. Pathetic. Let's fix it up. Once restored sacred forest will not heal the fractured ecosystem of all of Agaspa, thoughtless human. But if you insist on helping, I could see what I can do if you brought me a certain amount of amity and some other items. Is that clear? Looking for more Jubanga to kill? I'm afraid the truth is you've killed them all. I've not seen one flying as I selected the Jubanga like option, by the way. I've not seen one flying since long before the Withered showed up. All signs point to extinction. They were an exceptional spe exceptional species. Even in death, they gave life. You see, when a Jubanga died and its corpse fell Oh, the Jubanga are the big dragon things, the big dragon corpse that I found earlier. Uh when Jumanga died on its, uh, its corpse fell to the land, and the most amazing foliage would grow from its bones. Those were called fertile groves, and they're all lifeless now. Your fault. I love that in parentheses, your fault. Uh, but if you'd like to see one, I recommend Sea Florit Oasis in the Aztembo region. Is that clear? Uh, Amity life affirming action will grant you. Oh, yeah, okay. I already know about this. It's just basically killing things takes away Amity. Making things happy or growing them gives you amity. Uh, so I need you to provide me with additional amity so that I may have the strength to pull this off. Is that clear? There are many sacred forests about Agas, but they are all currently dead due to human ambition and disregard for nature. When a sacred forest is restored, it is likely to sprout a colossal seed. You are free to do with the seed what you will. Is that clear? Oh! Okay, so you heal a sacred forest and you get one of the seeds to plant a new one of the trees that I planted earlier. Damn humans. Yeah, I know. You see, when a Jubanga died and its corpse fell to the land, the most amazing foliage would grow from its bones. Oh, yeah, we already read about this. Okay. All clear. What do you want from me, though? Shining day upon you, stinking human. Where did you go? I feel like NPCs and just things in general. Is the motion blur back on? Why does it? I don't. Why is that still broken? That seems like such an easy thing to fix. Okay. Um. 
So glad we were able to get Holger back in his right mind. He's asked you to help him restore the Ashaya forest. That's spectacular, friend. There's some numerous sacred forests around Akatsu, but... Okay, he's being... He's stimming... So hard... That, like, if I was here in real life, I would be uncomfortable. I would uh, be worried that he's gonna, like, punch me out of, like, excitement. Tell him about it? Maybe no one noticed? Tell him about what? Wait, what did I miss? There are numerous sacred forests around the gospel. If we would have nursed them all to health, Holger would have no choice but, but to be our best friend. Motion blur? Oh. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That seems like something that there's no way that no one noticed it yet. I feel like the game just, like, runs and looks better without it on. Oh, I could have gotten a Lelia right here. It sucks. Whatever. Okay, regrow the Ashaya forest. Maybe I just need to interact with the tree? Is there, like, one of those super trees? Wait, oh, wait. There's a marker over here. Oh, he's... Okay, he walked over here. I wish I just showed him going over here. Yeah, stinking human. But you... Everything I require to regrow the forest. Actually, almost. I thought I had, like, 15 Amity leaves, or uh, Alelia leaves. You know, I'm all for world building, and, and you know, having fun... Names and creative, like, you know, non-English, non-just standard names for things. Like, I, I actually think they're pretty cool. I think, like, I, as an example, because I, I do some of my own writing. I like the music. I like the music, too. Uh, I do some of my own writing, uh, off-stream, of course. And as an example, one of my character's name is Heaslestat, which is a super long name. But if I had every single character's name that like, long and complicated, it gets kind of annoying after a while because there's no familiarity and, like, it's... Yeah, what is up with all these bones? There's no familiarity and it's just, like... It feels like I've put, put into an alien world, but, like, in a bad way. I don't think every single thing in this game needs to be weird and hard to pronounce. Like, why can't... This doesn't need to be Alia Leaf or Ali 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 Leaf? It could just be, like, Healing Fern or something, right? Like, it doesn't need to be... I don't know. It, it, it's, it's like, almost too much world building sometimes. And that's from somebody that fucking loves world building. Yes, stinking human. Have you everything I require to regrow the forest? I do. Ah, oh, indeed, you have it. Here, follow me to the center of the sacred forest. That's all you've needed the whole time, dude. Is three leaves? And you've just been sitting there getting drunk off your ass on raro fruit the whole time? Is he gonna have shit? Okay. Oh, uh, I don't like his face after that. There's like a... It just felt like he like came? I don't know, that was weird. He came? Yeah, exactly. Or like, I don't know, the, like this like pink thing popped out of the ground. It's like that's like his dick or something? I don't know. Well, I wasn't sure I still had it in me. The Emperor Flower Colossal Seed seems to have sprouted in all the commotion. If you want it, stinking human, it's yours. It's right behind you. Okay, he's suddenly being taken over by plants. If you'd like to continue this work of ours, meet me at the Sacred Forest in the Anja Rise region. There's much to regrow if you're serious about restoring this ecosystem, that is. Oh, hell yeah, this is cool. There's a seed? Got it? I'm guessing Emperor Flower Seed is how you plant a new tree. Oh, it's a tropical version of the tree. Okay. It's a different biome. Whoa, what is that thing? The cool ass creatures. Kik Kikaron. Kik. 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 I feel like I can't say how that's actually pronounced because I, th I think that's like a slur. But it Kikaron. I'll say Kikaron instead of the other one. Oh, there's more rare fruit for free. Cool. Um. Uh, 
I don't need to chop stuff down, I don't think, but I'm going to. No, I'm not. I don't have any wood. God root. Okay, I feel like we're getting a little uh, over our heads with the stuff here. I'm like, this is like too good of I object, ob like items that I'm getting. Also, that's a lot of rare, rare fruit and a lot of god root. How much of this can I harvest? Well, I need a hatchet for most of it, but... Alright, what do you have to say? Do I dare believe my eyes? Did we just witness the forest god regrow a sacred forest? Good call picking up the tro tropical colossal seed that sprouted as a result. Be sure to plant it in a tropical biome or on Midhaven post haste. I don't, like, what is a tropical environment when you're, like, when you're looking at just dirt and endless, like, desert, what is tropical? <clears throat> God root, yes. Did I, did I need that? Used in cooking recipes. Uh, let's go back to... Okay, so he wants me to go back there. I think tropical... This area might be tropical. It kind of looks like it could be. I'm just gonna go back here for now. Oh, I have my little creature that I can ride. See, this this gives me kind of tropical vibes because there's like some palm tree looking things growing around. And then there's, I don't know, those, those spires look kind of volcanic to me. Those like stone spires at the top. Which is kind of tropical, right? Sort of, in 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 a way. Of course you need it. It's godlike. I mean, what if the gods need it? What if it's like, what if it's theirs and they get mad at me for taking it? I really wish settlements would show up on the mini map. Oh, there it is. We found it. This is so nice having this mount to get around with. I actually... I'm gonna ride back to... Wait, can I harvest stuff while I'm on it? No, I cannot. I'm gonna ride back to the farming town, or towards the, like, the, to the small island, because there is some limestone. At least last time I was over here, there was some limestone that I could harvest. I want to grab more of that and see if I can finish one of the builds that we have going on. What is this? Fly fly? Whoa! What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, that's interesting. That's fun. That's weird. Okay, I, I kind of expected that for some reason, but I didn't at the same time. But it's called fly fly and it looks like a bouncy mushroom, like in a... In a old N64 game or whatever, but like... Wait. Why am I running out of stamina? What are you talking about? I don't think it was supposed to do that. I think it was a bug. Yeah, that was weird. I think I got on while sprinting and it just never stopped sprinting. But yeah, there should be some lighter colored rocks. Yeah, these ones here. These ones are limestone. There we go. I need 10 of this total. And I have, I think, six back at the farming tower. You ran out of stamina last time, too, did I? It's weird. That is not enough. Also, I don't know why they're called towers. Like, the, the, I, the, I, pl I built, like, a small, very flat platform, but it's called a tower. I don't get it why. I don't, I don't like, I don't understand. Ooh, what is that? Oh, this is like a uh, new place that we can build in. I think. How did I not see this before? The buildings of our ancestors were surely built with great skill. Some immense force must have come along to reduce them to such shambles. Oh, never mind. This is just a like a journal thing. Oh, that's something to turn into the museum. Okay, maybe I did find this actually. Oh, right. I forgot I put, like, a staircase in the middle of this bridge. I was like, what is up with the ominous block? Yeah, you just run out of stamina while you're on this. It's weird. There's also a quest to do on this bridge. I kind of want to do it. Maybe? We'll do it later, though. 
Also, I gotta show you guys the shit. The, the living shit. He's like right over here. He's in- it was talking about the- the... What are they called? The flying creatures that die and create like the sacred grove or whatever. Uh... It's the, the living shit is in one of those. There he is. You see him? He's sparkling. He's right there. There's the living shit creature. Told you he was alive. He's real. His name is Enchanted Dung. This is like a real thing in this game. If he's actually dragon shit, he could be. And then here's the, uh, like, the dead dragon thing that is supposedly, you know, causing this area to be extra fertile, but there's no fertility yet because they need stuff from me. What do you need? Kelp, elastic fin, and dung. I have, I have no idea where elastic fins or kelp come from, so it's going to be a while until we can do that, I think. I mean, kelp, I'm assuming, comes from the water, right? But, like, I don't know where... Like, what water? Oh shit, that's broken now. Alright, let's build another one of those, I think. No, I don't think I can. Oh yeah, I can. Cool. Thank god. I fucking hate not having a sword. Wait, there's more arrows, right? Who's the big guy? Where'd he go? There you are. He hit me? No, he didn't. Right? I didn't lose any health. It looks like he did, though. I like to think that he actually is dragon shit. It's a good theory. Spiders have bones? I guess. I don't think they're actually spiders. I think they're something else. Because earlier, there was, like, the big hand creatures were talking about it, them being, like, tentacled monsters. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what they are exactly. I was really wanting more limestone, but I don't think there's any on this small island here. But now I have to I have to go back to the farm anyways to teleport back to the village to Midhaven. Oh wait, no, we had the rarer fruit. I wanted to come back here for the rarer fruit because we can turn that in now. If I know where I'm going, I think I'm going the right way. Shit, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. This is normal behavior. I don't think you can climb very well with this thing. I, I, you can kind of though, it just like, is very slow. There we go, I got it. It really does not like slopes at all. Or slopes that are like rocky, I guess. There we go, this is where I want to be. Having a mount is fucking awesome, though. I think it would have taken... I think it's, like, at least three or four times faster than just walking up to it. It's playing, like, weird, like, kind of slightly mysterious type music for some reason. Who are you? Oh, I thought that was a person. I can't get off. There we go. Okay, I have all your stuff. Oh, I don't have the shit. I do have the shit. Rare fruit, there we go. Turn in. Now then, there it is. My largest gratitude. Stand back now, please, as I make a solemn plea to the spirits. Spirits of spirits, we toiled in the soil to delight thee. Spirits of spirits, let us now grow the tree. Shimu Shima. New recipe unlocked pumpkin. I'm guessing it's to grow, like in the in the farm? Here we are then, a grown and thriving colossal tree. Why'd shake your hand were I not for <laughs> if were I not wary of acquiring your stench? 
this local ecosystem will now be able to sustain even further plant animal life in this prosperous perimeter. Health increased. Nice. That's actually huge. Large greetings, uh, Melodrous human. Are you here to mine the... Wait, are you of the mind to grow this colossal tree? Oh, there's more growing? I thought it was done. Ecosystem's grown to tier three. Oh, okay. So we got to get three other seeds planted to tier three. Seeds planted from other ecosystems, zero to ten. Grand harvest... Or harvest grand seeds from the colossal tree. I think I can get one of those. Feed Juvor in the ecosystem. I don't know what that means. Fully grown plants in the ecosystem. That's done. Easy. Yeah, this thing is actually fucking huge now. That's sick. I love when trees are covered in, like, shit. Like, moss and lichen and mushrooms and stuff. I think it's, like, such a cool vibe. Can I get up here, please? Oh, come on. How do, you, how do you get up now? I need more stamina. Maybe I can stand on this little nub. Can I climb, please? Oh my god, just go up. Can I stand on this? Okay, there we go. Okay, I can get plenty of seeds now, because there's even more than before. I don't think I've ever been struggling for seeds, though. Oh, fuck it. It's kind of a pain in the ass to climb up this thing, too. God, please. I hope that I get the ability to, like... I don't know. I just want more stamina. Are these dangerous? Yeah, I thought they were about to attack me. They're called... Oh, they were called sphincters. They're called sky pincers pretty apt. There better be a seed up here. Okay, there is. Cool. Temperate Grand Seed. I think that's what started growing this thing here. Which we still need to wait for. I think it still has, yeah, three minutes. Okay, we're gonna hang out here until that's done. Potency that grows on the king tree capable of invigorating an ecosystem can be planted in an ecosystem. So this it invigorates it. I don't know what that means exactly. Um, I'm gonna. It's getting really dark again. I'm gonna go sleep and maybe plant some pumpkins. Also, it seems like the ecosystem, the like the zone that it makes, kind of lush is is way bigger now than it was before. Actually, can you see on the map? No. This farming tower is very inconsistently applying the, like, rich, fertile ground, though. Maybe it's centered around the farm? Not the, uh, like the, the actual tower? I think I need more cob. I'm gonna make another one of these. Oh, there's the pumpkin. Why is there two recipes? Use ripe seeds and fertilizer or... Oh, I see. I get three or I get one. I don't have any ripe seeds yet. I'm going to just do, I guess, salad again. It's good one just to have, I guess, going. I just wish they took longer to grow and gave you more of them instead of just every five minutes. What time is a suitable time to start decorating for Christmas? Um, I think now-ish. Like a, a month out. I mean, maybe if you want to be a stickler, like, the day after Thanksgiving. I think that's pretty common for people to start doing it after Thanksgiving. Because, like, Thanksgiving's over now, so we can start celebrating Christmas. I think, honestly, it's socially acceptable, like, as soon as Halloween's over. I think, like, the 1st of November is, is a good time to start. Doing Halloween, uh, Christmas stuff if, if you want. I don't I don't typically usually want to, but I think like you have a full like free pass to do that. I always wait until after November 11th. Why November 11th? Is that isn't that 
Rem Remembrance Day? Is that a Canadian thing? I don't know what that is. I don't think, at least. Anzacs? The slur? I have too much shit and not enough storage space. I don't think we can even make more storage space. We oh yeah oh wait we can have ten storage spaces now. That's new. It used to be three. I wonder if that's because we upgraded the village. Animal pens. How do I unlock the new stuff? Like how do I get this tier? I'm gonna get. I wanna get more wood, but I'm already low on amity. I feel, I feel like I need more amity. We need to feed animals more. I'm gonna grab all my berries. I have plenty of food for myself. I'm just gonna grab all of the, the like food that I have for animals and just feed a fuck ton of them. I'm gonna keep the roots though, because those ones are kind of hard to get. I don't know if I need them for anything else. Where's all my. Oh, there's my lettuce. Veterans Day in the USA. Oh, okay. Anzacs is is April. Don't you care about the vet cyan? Dude, I don't know. I mean, it depends. Like I do. I think they should be taken care of, but I don't. I I, I don't know. It's wars in in 2024 are almost all just bullshit. Honestly, like I, it's war. Like okay. If this was like 1970, I would have a different opinion. In 2024, war is like omega cringe. Like it's fucking weird. We, we're, we're, I feel like we're past that. It's okay, streamers have to work much harder. That's so true. Except for me, I like, I don't know. I just use AI to do everything. It's not true actually, I, I don't. Uh, What in the fuck is that? I just heard like a huge growling sound. I look over and I see this thing. Don't attack me. <laughs> Calm down. I think it's just shit. Feather snout. Wait, what, what do you have? Okay, you can drop feathers. I'm not going to kill you, but you can drop feathers. Seems to like lettuce or something. I don't know what the exclamation point means. He also likes truffles. I feel like feeding truffles to a giant, like, zebra horse is, or, like, giraffe horse is not it. Wait, I picked berries up? How did they- no, what? No. What? Dro no, feed them. Is he kicking me? So they're just being greedy, these wars? Yeah, it's greed or just, like, stupid political posturing just dog shit it, like no one actually nobody that isn't a high level politician gives a shit about like the only wars worth fighting are at this point are like to defend people that are just being fucking killed because they exist like it's like that's the that's the only thing that like war as a as a defense is necessary because you have to right like you you literally have to fight back but i don't know i don't want to get like too political but I, I, just as an example i think this it's pretty the like the the war in ukraine is pretty clear cut like one side is very clearly the bad guy the 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 instigator in that war um i guarantee you other than like bootlickers and high up politicians in 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 Russia, no one in Russia wants that war to happen. No one gives a fuck. Like nobody, like maybe they do now because of like propaganda and stuff, right? But like before Russia invaded Ukraine, Russia probably like the average citizen probably didn't give a singular like minutia of a fuck 
whether or not Ukraine was part of Russia. I guarantee it. They might have said they did, because that's, like, the thing to say, but, like, I, they probably didn't, like, actually have that as a value in their heart, in their head. Oh, wait, I had an elastic fin. Wait, 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 where'd that come from? Oh, wait, who gives that? Wait, who gives the elastic fin? I need to figure out who that's from. Is it you? No. Well, there's two of these guys now. Oh, shit. Because I need a bunch of elastic fins. That's actually a really important item for me. Oh my god, I can grow this again? Oh, it's okay, I see. It It, it reached the next growth stage, and now I need to feed it more Amity. God damn it. I think, I think that will really affect modern v uh, veterans is the d disconnect between the proverbial trigger pull and the death of others. It's too easy to end someone's life without putting yourself at risk, and it'll give... People either stranger spirit god complex, uh, or just really show people how worthless they are when some guy 5,000 miles away can be killed with the Xbox 360 controller. It's actually super true. I think, um, especially like, I mean, even people that are like in planes and stuff in, in, in older wars like World War II, I think they had to disconnect too. Oh, maybe it's from. Hi, what, what an asshole. I was gonna say, oh, maybe the elastic fit was from this little guy. He just fucking kills me. Like, what are you doing? Why are you- why are you like this? I fed you. True. Accurate. Oh, I have a horse. Or something. It's not a horse. It's a- It's a pig, basically. It's a pig, like, guinea- is it- it's basically a giant guinea pig. I think it'll be disingenuous, though, to say that Modern War is a joke on modern veterans, though. Well, the problems they'll face will be completely different, but still entirely... No, absolutely. I'm not saying that veterans shouldn't be taken care of. Um, I just don't know if... I don't know if they should be celebrated. I don't think it... I don't know. It just depends, I guess. What they're... Like, what are they doing? What, what are they actually... Like, what... What are they having to deal with, actually? What are they being assigned to? Did they just find, like, a bunch of food? What happened here? Okay, this guy needs to die, I think. Because is that where the fin, the elastic fin came from? It's not. Okay, brother, can you stop attacking stuff? Actually, maybe that's a good thing to have predators, because then I don't have to waste Amity killing things. I can just pick up their loot. Right? Don't you fucking dare. I want to say that's how it works, right? God, these guys are so big and fucking cool. You could, like, wear their dick like a hat. He just said gribble, gribble when I walked past him. Heavy horn. Oh, yeah, okay. So it does give me loot from the enemies that it kills. That's pretty cool. I just wish I could see loot easier. There's like a fucking quadrillion things in the ground. Alright, we need to go probably do some more stuff in Midhaven. I still don't know where that elastic fin came from, and I really wish I did. It's from something. You would think it would be from this guy, because he has like these little elastic fin things. I also don't have the Amity to repair that thing. The, uh, the... To feed the tree that we have over there. Maybe I should get that, though, before we leave. Take out some of these nests. We save? Nope. Fuck off. What do you mean? This thing kind of just sounds like a public restroom.
Let's go Shingo B. I love this mount. It's fucking awesome. Also, this area is so lush now. This this tree has kind of gotten kind of crazy. I wonder how big of an area they cover when they're fully grown. Like, can this tree do this whole island? I don't think so, right? It'd be cool if it could, but I don't think it can. I guess we'll see. Uh, where are we going? We need, uh, I guess we'll harvest these. Why not? Okay, that still has a way to go. Um, let me check and see. What do these need? Okay, we need kelp. Don't know where to get that yet. Limestone, we don't have enough. We do have the... Oh, we don't have the oil either. We need cob, which we're making right now. This one needs a bunch of shit. Ecosystems grow in tier 3. There's, that's going to take a while. Oh. Oh, this is how we upgrade the farming village. we got to get Midhaven to tier 2, rebuild four shrines, and observe one more creature, and then get a bunch of culture points. I don't know how to do that, but it seems like they just kind of accumulate. Alright, let's go back to Midhaven. Actually, let's, look, uh, let's put some stuff away. I'm curious, once we get Midhaven built... Can I use the stuff in these chests to build in Midhaven? Kind of like how I can here? Because that would be pretty sick. I need to put away some of this other stuff. Like, rare fruit can probably go away. Um, hello? Oh, it, doesn't, it only stacks up to 15, I see. Right? Yeah. Uh, God root, I don't think I need. I'll have a whole chest, em like, completely empty. Stone, hang on to. Fiber. God roots go away. Let's put all this stuff away. I'll creep the seed. I think I want that. Emperor flower. Actually, the seed can go away for now. No, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. No, I'll put it away. I'll put it away. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. Seashells can also go away. We don't have enough of those yet. How much limestone do I have? Six. We need four more. This game's really, like, there's so much to do, it's kind of addicting. I really like this stage of games, like open world games, where there's there's just like infinite things to do, and you just it's like ADHD simulator. You just can like run around, and every three seconds you find a new thing to do. It's fantastic. That's Factorio to me. Yeah, I think so too. I like it's a little bit different. I think, well, at least for me, Factorio and Satisfactory, they um. It's more like long-term distractions. This one is a little bit more short-term. Alright, I want to check out the museum thing. Oh, Young Adventure, look what we have, or look what the Withered have done to our once mighty Shimu Museum. It's in smithereens. This character looks so normal when they're not making any facial expressions, and then they make expressions and they just turn into an alien. Like, that's just not, like, no one looks like that. But then that's normal. That's totally normal. That looks like a normal person. Anytime they make an expression, it's just fuck. Oh, what a travesty. What uh, what despair. Visiting the museum as a child is what inspired me to become our tribe's historian. How could the spirits have allowed this to happen? How will we remember our history? Oh, what calamity. Okay, so we got to rebuild, apparently. And we get a, a cheese wedges. Like old, red, kind of rusty cheese wedges as a reward, I guess. Oh, we need... S oh, I thought that said seven things. Limestone, wood planks, and gold nuggets. I don't know how to refine planks or nuggets, so this is going to be something for later, I guess. How do I actually kind of get Midhaven to do stuff? I'm assuming this can be rebuilt at least somewhat? Looks like there was like a huge building here, but I don't know like what to do. 
Because there's this. Midhaven Tower, Tier 1. Let me actually go to that node. Is there, like, a thing here? No, it's just the middle of the field. Let me talk to the architect and see what he has to say. Oh, restoring Manhaven. Grow the tropical ecosystem. Uh, let's grow this then. I think if I can grow it kind of between Midhaven and the museum, that would be kind of the coolest place to put it. No, I gotta be 300 meters away from Midhaven. Holy fuck. All right, let's um, let's grab the horse then. I'm thinking over here, like there's a portal here. I think that's a good place to put it because then I can get to it easily. Go, oh, is it this this way? Yeah. Good call. Yeah, because this one wants it to be even further away than the last one was. I think the last one was like 100 meters. This one's 300. That's really far. I wish that this had a double jump like torrent from Elden Ring. Uh, where, why is the map not working when I'm on my mount? Okay, I guess it just does that. It's fun. And by fun, I mean actually just like dog shit. Oh, there we go. Okay, it worked for a second. There we go. Okay, so that's weird. Uh, I actually don't know if I can get in there. It looks like it's inside of like a caldera. It's like way the fuck up here. I'm gonna get off the horse. I have two stamina bars. I don't know what the second one's for. I'm assuming it's not supposed to be there. What if I let both of them... No, that's just... Yeah, it's just broken. Okay, whatever. Why am I hearing a Minecraft villager? Did you guys hear that? I hear... Huh? Huh? I don't hear it anymore. Maybe it was my horse? Please. Nice. Okay, we can stand here. I think that should give us enough space to get up then. Oh, easy. Some birds circling here. That might not be... Oh, there's stuff here. Oh, this is a shrine. Okay. So there is a portal here, but this is not really it, it wouldn't be easy to plant a tree down there because it'd be a pain in the ass to get back up to the portal we actually can do this we just need limestone and more gold dust and there's a portal too that we can i think activate is this the portal what is this it's a toy a puppet of some kind this little guy is wearing a crown with a quite a silly expression on his face. He looks pathetic. Okay. He does kind of have, he's kind of like the like a Jojo expression. There's the portal. I'm guessing this just takes Amity like the other ones, right? Yeah. I am going to turn all of that in. I think that's just good to have all of these built. There's also a, um, like an amphitheater down there. I'm not going to go down there right now, but I want to remember that that's there if I can. If my, if my brain cell, if my single brain cell can fit that much energy in it. Let's go back to here. I'm thinking maybe... I don't know. I don't know where to put the seed. Because it seems like it seems to be so far away. But I do have my mount now. So as long as it's on like flat terrain, it should be okay. No matter where I put it.
Where's my horse? Oh. You good? Can I... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, we're good. I thought I was stuck there, like, permanently. Can you get the fuck over here? Where are you? There we go. Uh, let's go to, like, over... I think this area could be cool. There's, like, a little river delta type thing over there. I love deltas. Deltas are sick. It's a weird thing to say, actually, now that I realize it, but deltas are kind of cool. Wait, this might be too far? What does the seed say? I can grow it here, but there's not enough space. No, it's still- okay, we're not even- we're barely halfway far enough. Why does it have to be so far away from Midhaven? I don't understand. Like, what's the point of that? Yeah, I'm gonna go pretty close to the delta over there. A little further than we need to go, I think, but it's a cool area. Whoa. That's a huge withered nest. Um... I'm gonna make some more arrows. Can I make more arrows? Shit, I don't have any flint. Can I get more flint? Is there, like, rocks here? That's limestone. Nice. What are you talking about? No, get the bow out. God damn it. Why does it have to break? Why does everything have to, like, be, like, three durability? No, don't see me. Don't see me. That guy's gonna... gonna he's gonna one-hit me. Guys with swords? Yeah, they're... They're gonna fuck me up, I think. I don't think you can get flint from coal, but I'm gonna try. Because this thing's gonna give, like, uh, at least 100 amity for taking it out. I won't... I wanna do that. Wait, you mine coal after... Oh. What? There's some flint. And gold dust. I needed that. Come on, limestone. Give me some flint. Three gold dust? That's... Sick. He has a lot of health. Holy fuck. We're good. We're good. We're actually good. We're fine. I'm gonna need a lot more food than I have. Withered tar and leather. Leather seems like it's a big deal. There's a hand over there, too. I need to fix my bow. I need a bow. Shit. We have to go all the way back to the other tree to get resin. Sword it is, I guess. Um, these guys are actually almost identical to the hands that you fight in Elden Ring. The way that they look and the way that you fight them. And their attacks that they do? Shit. I dodged. I I, there's no iframes, I don't think. These things suck. I, need, I don't want a bow. I like, can't... Okay, let's see if I can just make a bow. I think I have plenty of flint and stuff at the other base. Did my mount respawn with me? I know it's... Like, I don't, I don't think I can die, but I'm just curious if it appears when you spawn in. I love rumor has it the data has eyes for Hyuk. That's like such a non-sentence. It doesn't mean anything. Lint. Uh, where? Okay, we need resin and flint. Please tell me I have... Okay, there's flint and resin. Cool. We don't have wood. We never have wood. Damn it. I us go get wood.
By the way, I have to say, I love that the game spawns the mount in front of you, even if it does have an, something just spawn in front of you without having, like, a... There's no fade-in or anything, it just, like, kind of appears. I actually kind of hate in games where you call on a mount and it appears behind you. So you have, to, you have to press a button and then turn around to get on it. Like, The Witcher 3, I think, is like that. Um, I think there's one game... I don't remember which game it is. There's a game that when you call in your horse, I don't have a stone hatchet. It appears and then it will. I don't know how a stone hatchet. What are you talking about? It appears and then it'll run up alongside you. Jesus. It didn't give me like that bad, but it like it's been so long that it kind of it like fucked me up in a way that I can't really describe. Um. Yeah, there's a game where the horse runs up alongside you and matches your pace, and then you press E, or whatever button, it's like the mount button, to get on while it's running next to you, and you just like seamlessly get on, and just it suddenly makes you faster, and it's really nice. Shadow of the Colossus does that, maybe? I've never played that game, so I, I don't think it's that one. I think, I want to say it was Breath of the Wild, maybe. Are you saying what to me never having played Shadow of the Colossus? You gotta play that? I, I do gotta play that, I know. What is this Sife? And Ico? Fake gamer? Relax. You played I What is Ico? Is that an acronym or is that the name of a game. Why is there berries at the base of every tree? Oh shit. I realized there actually is a penalty to dying. You lose your amity. Okay, that's actually kind of a big deal. I got to be careful with that. It's kind of like you I feel like it's like dropping your souls in 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 Dark Souls. I also haven't played SOTC or Shadow of the Colossus, but I saw a Let's Play, so I'm covered. I don't think it's, I don't think it counts. Name of the game, same devs as Shadow of the uh, Colossus. Okay, I've never even heard of Ico. Okay, we should now have everything we need. We have a pickaxe, we have a shovel, we have an axe, a sword. Where's our axe at? Oh, it's in our hands. We need arrows. I, don't, I barely have enough wood. What does it make? It makes what? Oh, it's a spear. Fuck. Craft it, please. Cra no, craft. What are you doing? Craft the arrow. I can't craft. I can't craft the arrows? Oh, I don't have any wood. God damn it. They like spent it all on spears. <laughs> so stupid. I was thinking of The Last Guardian. Oh, yeah, that can. It sounds pretty cool too. But no, yeah, Shadow, Shadow of the Colossus, I think, is like The Last Guardian's predecessor or like spiritual predecessor. I think Last Guardian was a, a spiritual successor to Shadow of the Colossus. I need wood again, <laughs> frustratingly. Do, do the bigger trees, like the big resin trees, do they give more? Because I have zero amity, so there's might as well just chop down the whole forest, right? Ah, oh, fuck, I have too much stuff on me. God damn it. I gotta use the horse more. Also, I'm just gonna keep calling it a horse, because I don't- I can never remember hair lope, just like off the top of my head, easily. It, horses- it sounds like a horse, it functions like a horse. I do wish I had a double jump, though. I'm just so used to that from Elden Ring. I I love this quick stack feature. I love the devs actually so much already. Uh, transfer. What are you doing? No. 
Oh, I can't. It's full. I also have this withered tar. It's I guess it's crafting recipe, crafting material. Uh, leather too. Nice. Okay, now we get trees. And maybe we'll kill some of the animals up there too, because why not? At this point, it's free amity or free uh, resources because I don't have any amity to spend. I don't think you can go negative, so. I like that this game doesn't make getting resources like wood kind of frustrating, or not frustrating, but uh, super tedious. Like games like Valheim, love Valheim, by the way, great game. Uh, kind of terrible in stream because sometimes it takes like six hours to get wood and it's just like kind of annoying it's a lot of grinding it, like it, it's just too many steps to get a small amount of wood okay twisted fur is new is this tree making that noise or is it the creature is there a creature behind it oh it's this guy okay because the tree is called a fat walker and i don't know if that means that it's going to come alive at some point I assume it probably will. Or at least it'll move. What the fuck is making that noise? Get the fuck out of me. I thought it was attacking me. I feel like it would end poorly if I tried to kill one of these things. And I don't even really want to. They look really cool. I wonder, it seems like some of these trees grow naturally on their own. What is that? Seems like some grow on their own in their own location. Okay, it's actually literally impossible to har harvest because I can't stand there. Fuck. But yeah, I wonder, like, because you can plant seeds and I think that just makes the growth faster. But I think it also slowly regenerates over time anyways, just grows trees. Try killing the big thing, is what you're saying? I mean, I guess there's nothing to lose, right? I don't lose any amity. I do want to harvest most of these trees first, though, just so I don't have to come back here if I do die. Do it, relax, I will. I lost my hatchet? Yeah, these things are just so weak. I hope the iron hatchet also has higher, like, damage. I hope it does more damage per swing at the tree. I'm sure it does, but I just... I don't know. This game, they, they seem to not really do things the normal way, so who knows. It better at least have better durability. That's all I really care about, actually. Oh, this is a cool-looking tree. Oh, iron hatchet, okay. Alright. Plenty of wood. Let's make a fuck ton of arrows. I don't even have thatch or flint. Oh, I put it all away, that's why. Alright, let's attack one of these. This is gonna end not well. I feel bad for killing them because they're really cool. Okay, they don't seem to actually put up any fight, even a little bit. I feel terrible. I got feathers! That's actually new. That's, I mean, that's probably worth it, right? Maybe? This area looks really weird without any trees growing around it. It's like naked. Why did you do that, you asshole? I do want to kill- wait, what is this? Like it's it's, a, it's one of the it's a it's like the turtle we saw earlier that killed me, but it's peaceful. Gojino. Cool. Wait, what does it drop? It drops fur. Oh, it does have fur. Okay, bye. It's like a furry turtle. That's cool. All right, let's get out of here. 
go back to... I, wanna, I just need to plant the other fucking seed. At least you only killed one. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do both. That seems... I, I don't want to, like, genocide their species. You almost have enough... Um... What's it called? Limestone. For one of the construction sites that we have. So this makes 10 each. I'm just gonna go with 30. I think that's plenty. I don't want to use up, like, every single thing that I have. I do think it would be nice, because, like, this quick, st quick sort feature is super nice, right? The quick stack. Um, I... I still want to be able to just, like, walk up to one chest and hit the quick sort button and have it just quick sort into all my chests. I think that would be ideal. Where's my... F Why can't I access the food chest? No, fuck off. I don't care. There it is. Ibo Goto Sama Round Doriho Purantin Deke Onjis Deza Teido Tibur Kind of lost me on that one. I don't know what you said. I need to build another chest. Probably better places to put these. But I don't like I don't really care. I just I'm just gonna keep running in this corner. Putting it behind the tent. Wood? Hmm. I seem to always need wood. I'm gonna keep wood on me. I've got some round leaf plantain dick on this deserted table. I what does that mean? What if they were mates and now they won't make babies? I'm sure they'll be fine. I actually don't know. I don't know how the game works. Alright, I need to make more food too, because I used all my skewers. What is I, I don't even have fish, do I? Oh I do. Salads, I have a lot of I can make a lot of cooked meat. I think the skewers are probably best and I have a lot of this, so let's just make a lot of this. Cool. Lots of skewers. Lots of health. I eat one now. I think that was a, slightly a waste, but it's okay. Need a seed? Take heed. Climb the nearest colossal tree and grab the seeds at the top. Oh, okay. That's just that's what I've been doing. If you have a lot of meat, you butcher of innocent, or you have a lot of meat, you butcher of innocent animals. I, I mean, you can get meat from like, like earlier. I let a predator naturally kill prey, and I didn't kill the prey. I just harvested its body. Right? Isn't that a good thing? Isn't that a good way to do it? But then I guess that like it. If I capitalize on that, then I'm incentivized. Oh, that's the wrong way, shit. I'm incentivized at that point to actively create scenarios where predators will kill prey, which is kind of, that's like also meddling, so I don't know. You could have saved the prey, killed the predator, but then aren't I just a killer at that point anyways? What's the, what's the difference? Just because one of them happens to eat creatures doesn't mean that it's any less deserving to live. It's just how an ecosystem works. Things have to die. The lack of death leads to stagnation. It's what FromSoft has been trying to tell us for 20 years. I hate this tapeworm inside of me. That's a TTS. I hate this tapeworm inside of me. I also hate your tapeworm. Oh, we don't have a bow. Fuck. I thought we made one. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, this is the true test then. Well, no, it's not a true test. Never mind. I was going to say, maybe we can craft it in Midhaven, 
using the materials in my other chest, but I don't... I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I don't think that... I don't think that's how it even works in... Is this Midhaven? This is the back of Midhaven, right? Yeah. But I don't think that's how it even works in the other town, in the farming town. But we'll see. Uh, if I go into here and then craft... I cannot make a bow, because I don't have a resin, right? But if I go over here... If I'm just standing here, do I have resin? I don't think I do. I think I have to pull it out. Good way to lose weight. No, it's, it's not. It's terrible. Craft. Oh, I can craft it as long as I'm standing here. That's very good to know. Okay, I guess I got these from pre-ordering the game, even though I didn't pre-order the game. I don't know why. I didn't just make like 10 of those, did I? I kind of like the mask that I have. It's kind of creepy, kind of kind of cool. I also think they change your outfit. I think the mask is like, is the whole, it's like a color scheme. Oh, I know, that's this. Never mind. All right. Where's horse? There you are. You didn't get stuck in the ground this time. What's the horse's name again? It's like... Pasha Mino or something? I just want to take out this, this fucking nest so bad. Why did that just spawn in front of me? And what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Probably just gonna keep writing. I probably should keep writing, but I want to take revenge too. I should just keep going. I'm, just, I'm probably going to end up getting hurt more if I try to fight that thing. Jimbo? Oh, that's what it is, yeah. So should I just, like... Okay, that was close. I probably shouldn't try to snipe him, right? I'm going to waste arrows. I mean, I can pick him up, but... And I have 40. He sees me. Oh, fuck. First hand killed. There we go. The bow is so fucking strong. It's crazy. Pick up some limestone over here because we need more. I thought I already grabbed this, but I guess I respawned already. You little fucker. This is just regular stone. I don't need that for now. So I'm going to run into a big problem where I'm eventually going to be able to get to this thing to disassemble it. But as I'm disassembling it, like three enemies are going to spawn at the same time and just like combo me out immediately. I'm going to attract too many things at once. I think I might not have enough arrows. I should have made more. Oh shit, okay, never mind. Did someone see me? How? What are you talking about? Huh? Bro, where are they coming from? How, like, how do they see me over here? Oh, you know what? Maybe the big enemies, like the hand and the, the guys with the swords and stuff, maybe they don't respawn. Maybe the, only the smaller, like, regular Razzalus spawn when you start disassembling the nest. I don't know why I keep saying disassembling, because it's not, like, you're not gently taking it apart. You're actually just destroying it, but... Linen cloth, that's big. I don't, I don't know why you're going that way, but thank you. Thank you for not beelining to me. Shit. Did it just kill the small one? Oh my god, it did. They have friendly fire. Interesting. I also love that it puts all of Reaper's room. 
I like that it puts all the arrows on a dead enemy into their bag. I think that's pretty cool. There was another guy over here. He, like, wandered really far, though. I don't know where he went. There's another nest up there, but it's a little one. Oh, there he is. How did he... What? I think he wandered too far and then respawned. These guys kind of look like RuneScape enemies. I don't know how to describe that, but they kind of do. Or I don't know how to explain that, I guess. Right, let's back off for a second, see if anything spawns. think we're okay. Too many can't take a sword. That would be actually pretty cool. Even if it was like a rare drop from them, that would be pretty cool. Oh, okay, yeah. Some things do spawn. Is it just the two? Do I just, do I just like destroy the middle part now? Or do I need to climb it, maybe? Maybe I need to climb it. There's like this last arm here. Let's go up. Seems actually like a good spot to fight them from. Shit. It's climbing in this game is so hard. It just like never works the way you expect it to. All the, the like hitboxes are really strange. There was a there was a prompt there. Oh, okay. You just gotta destroy all the tumors all over the sides of it. I see. I see how it works. Any new friends? Dude, climb up the side. What are you doing? Okay, can't do this one yet. I think there's still more on the side. Maybe right there? No? There's a tumor. This is like literally, it's like cancer incarnate. But in like an evil form. Is it done? Is that it? Wait, no, now I can get the arrows. Nice. I can get the big one at the top now, I think. Yeah, it's uncovered now. And also, we're getting like Toy Story music? For some reason? Uh, how do I, do I just stand here? There we go. Where's the, uh, oh, there's the dial. Am I gonna fall and take damage? 100 Amity. Okay, that's pretty good. Probably not super time efficient, but um, because like, uh, it takes a long time to take this out as me, because I'm, I'm a little wee bab currently in the game, but once I can take these out easily and, and confidently, it's going to be pretty nice. I'm being shot at by- where the fuck did you come from? I was just looking over there. Seems like the bow got a buff, maybe, or I, like, got a higher proficiency with it. So I'm killing stuff faster now. More limestone. I keep hearing the Minecraft villager sound. I don't know if you guys hear that or not. It's just, like, a little... Huh in the distance. The thing up here, what is that? Is it like a piece of bark? Is it just like a random stone or is that something? I think it's just a random stone. Yeah, okay. I thought maybe I could harvest it. Why are there lines on the map? Oh, wait, the grid shows, this grid shows on the mini map too? I, I never realized that, I don't know how. He was trying to kill, like, a little animal. I just fucking sniped him. I 
kind of wish you could just attack the nest instead of holding E on it. Like, trade durability for speed, maybe? Who's attacking me? Again? Christ, I hate the way the thing, these things move. I fucking hate spiders. Alright, well, I'm thinking around here. Ooh, I guess like, I could plant it here. I kind of wanted to do it. I want to see what this place looks like down here. The, the, the delta that I was looking at. New animal? No. It's a plumpet. A lot of turtle-like creatures in this game. Seems like every interesting geological feature on the map is kind of just... Oh, you know what? That over there kind of looks like one of the degenerated, like, forest things that, that we need to help the guy repair. He didn't finish that nest? Did I not? I guess I didn't. I'll go back. Um, but this is not like a good area to plant the tree because there's just too much terrain shit going on. It looks cool. It would be cool there, but it's just not practical to get to. I think I want to plant it up where I fought that tower, where I took down that tower just now. Yeah, you're right. I didn't get it. I don't know why I left it here. I guess because I got attacked and I just got distracted. There we go. Should be 50 more. Nice. Oh, I need clay. I actually need to get this. More limestone, too. I think it's the last limestone that I need, at least for one of the things I gotta build. Assuming I only get one. I hope I get, like, four? Two. I'll take it. Yeah, fill orders completable. Nice. Need to go to them? Oh, shit. The... The stone... No, that's a different shovel. I think I might get the iron shovel from doing the snag family thing. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to plant the tree here and see what happens. Or the flower, I guess. I could plant it here. I think this is a good spot for it, because it's, it's easily accessible. It's kind of a nice big flat area. And it overrides potentially like an annoying enemy spawn here. Because it's, it's like a lot of big enemies that spawn here. If it, if that tower comes back. Could be kind of annoying to get through safely. Good plant strawberries now, that's cool. You can also plant carrots, but that's not cool. Carrots are... I don't know, they're kind of mid. Nice. Huge growth, lots of palm trees. Really cool looking palm trees, actually. Like, these are these are good, like, graphically, these are really cool palm trees. I think they're just, they're just interesting and they look real. Better than mid. Car no, I mean, carrot flavor is okay. Like, carrots in stuff is fine. Oh, these little things. I fucking love them. They're like living Furbies. Fuzzy fin? Wait, is this where you get the elastic fins from? No. Um, like, raw carrot is, I think, one of my least favorite vegetables. It's just so mid. Like, completely. Like, there's a lot of vegetables that are great raw. What is this? Like a fat squirrel. Cudlop? Um, like, raw cauliflower is fantastic. Raw broccoli is okay. Raw zucchini is awesome. But, like, uh, raw carrots are ass. Steamed carrots even are just, like, kind of okay. They're great in, like... A soup or a stew. Um, I like them in chili, which is not standard, but I like it. Um, I like like a good shredded carrot in like a salad or on a sandwich, like a, on a bon mi. Like the pickled shredded carrots are fucking awesome. 
Hello, how's it going here? How's it going, man? Uh, doing pretty good. Hope you're doing well as well. We just uh, got our second, like, god seed thing planted. Maybe not in the best spot, but a decent enough spot. Large greetings, malodorous human. Are you here to mine the... Uh, are you of the mine to grow this colossal tree? If so, here are the requirements. Creatures fed, tropical seeds planted, and fully grown plants. That seems easy enough. Do I have tropical seeds? I do. I have one. I don't have any food, though. Oh, I guess I have... Oh, heck, wait. Kelp? I think we need this for something. I don't know where this came from, though. Yeah, we don't really have any food, though. We gotta go back and get food. What is that little guy? Look at the little... Look at... There's like a little bunny rabbit bug on the... On the... Oh, he went away. There he is. He's got little... Uh, it looks like, a, like a, one of those moths with the cool, like, bunny... Um, antennas. He's just gonna be hanging at every tree simultaneously now. I, I assume he can travel or something. I first, I planted my first on Weird Hill. Yeah, same. Because the character told me to plant it, and it was a really bad spot for it. It's really annoying and inconvenient to get to. Um, what else do we have here? Is there like anything I can harvest yet? I don't think I can. Got the portals up. Yeah, same. Does this have any seeds on it yet? I don't think it does. I think it's to grow first. Oh no, there we go. Okay, they all have the same model, all the seeds, at least for now. I know Ark had an issue with that, or not an issue, but they had that when the game first came out where every model, like when you chopped it on the ground, it was just like a, a, a cardboard box, basically. And eventually they had a huge update where they gave an individual unique model to every object. I also did mine on a different weird hill. Okay. Yeah, I think having it in a flatter area is nicer because then you can just, you can kind of see what is available for you to harvest there at more of a glance. All right, we need to get the fuck out of here because it's getting dark. I want to go back home, pick up some food to feed these guys and then we can come back. Also, I want to I want to advance Midhaven. Midhaven needs to grow. Those glowing trees look cool. Yeah, they look super cool. Oh, you did it by the reverse pyramid. I built my town. I built my town by the reverse pyramid, and it's it's the worst. It's awful. I'll show you in a second. Like my my uh, farm tower is in the worst spot ever. I'm going the right way, right? I'm not. I don't think this is the route that I took to get- Wait, no, this is- this is not the right way. Hang on, I'm- I'm getting all turned around. I wish these were like Skyrim horses where you could just climb up anything with them. This is where I want to go. It's this structure. I don't- I don't know how I missed it. It's huge. I got my town by the water. I should have built mine like in the field that it told me to build in, but I was being a, an asshole and I was like, oh, you shouldn't build in a in a floodplain. Like, cause like that matters at all in the game. Like, why would I, why, who cares? So I built it on like this hill in the ruins and then now there's like ruins clipping through the tower and there's the ramps on the tower are just like floating in the air and it's, it's ass and you can't remove it and rebuild it. So I just gotta deal with it. Yeah, I got my tower here. The reverse pyramid is this thing. I think that's what you're talking about, right? But then I have, like, this ramp that comes down, and it's just, like, a wall? That's stupid. Oh, I can plant strawberries. Do I want that, though? I'm gonna not do that for now, because it uses non-standard seeds. What about the carrots? Ooh, okay. I'm gonna grow this. I'm gonna try this out. If I can grow three things in the time that it grows one... It's awesome. Or I guess the time they grow is two. Ten minutes is better, because I have to come check it less often. Being technical with civilization without needing to? Yeah, exactly. That's I was, Like I said, I was just being an asshole about it. I don't know why. Also, this update that they had where you can store everything with just by holding E is incredible. Ooh, I want to turn in the um, that quest too, that build. I'm actually just going to put all this away. Um, 
This is... Okay, kelp? Is that what the poop guy wanted? It is kelp. Okay, I don't know where we got it, but... We have... The, oh, we only need one elastic fin and we have that. So we just gotta get kelp now. Awesome. I think this place is gonna be like a big unlock. Limestone, cob, and oil. Oh, we don't have all the oil, though. Didn't something else need limestone? Oh, this needs a lot of stuff. Actually, not that much. It's just shells. But this also needs shells. No, it doesn't. Wait, what else needs shells? I thought, something, I thought I needed like 10 shells. Maybe we don't. Could turn that in. Museum we cannot do. We could do that too. I'm gonna... I, I think... Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna see if I can get the oil for this. And rebuild this. Because I think we need to rebuild shrines to unlock something. I don't remember where it was. But we do need it. I didn't realize the nests respawn. Yeah, they do. Which is good. I, it's, it's sometimes annoying when in certain locations. But otherwise, it's, it's good. It's a really good way to get Amity. I think that's like the main way to get it in the game. Oh, speaking of Amity, I should probably turn in my, uh... Should go, like, grow the blossom thingy over here. Because it uses 100. But yeah, I should have built the farm tower here. And then build the, uh, the, the tree. The, the colossal tree, like, over by this little, uh, this little lake over here. Or pond, I guess. More of a pond. Please. <laughs> it has no forward momentum when it jumps, unless you're already moving forward. So you just are kind of shit out of luck if you want to climb up something, unless you're already moving forward. Uh, where is it? Over here. Thing is an Amity sink. Where's the next one? How many do we need to do? I don't see any more. I'm sure they're up higher like the last one was. Yeah, there's one there. Is there more on this side? There, okay, so there's three. We need 300 Amity, or I guess 200 more Amity to grow that thing. What is this? Oh, it's injured. Okay, we need to get LA leaves. I need to be fast this time, because last time this happened, I just... I didn't do it fast enough, and it just died. Where's my mount? Okay, I guess you're not coming. I don't know why the mounts uh, just don't... appear sometimes. I think it's, like, it's probably too close to me already, so it's just like, oh no, you don't need to respawn, just go walk to it. But it's, like, at the top of a cliff, and it's a pain in the ass to get to. Where's the alley, alley leaves? Oh, shit. Actually, I'll hold on to the oil, because I need more anyway. I need to get one more to turn in. Uh, there they are. There you are. It'd be kind of cool if the mounts that you could get, because, like, I'm assuming everyone's looks like this one. It's There's probably one model in the game for it. It'd be kind of cool if it was randomized and, like... I would love a mount system, since that's, like, something you can maybe collect in this game. I don't know if this is the only mount. I'm assuming there's other ones. Um, but a, a mount system where you could, like, get different rarer versions and different, like, breeds and make cool colors and stuff. I think it'd be kind of, kind of awesome. Uh, where was that guy at? Hey, he's already gone. Okay. So you really don't have any time to, to cure these guys, no matter what you do. You just you have to have the materials on you already. All right. Last time I got oil, it was like somewhere around here. I don't know if every plant grows back in the same spot, but I don't think it does. I'm assuming it's from one of the plants. I don't think it comes from the animals, right? No. 
Oh, it did. Maybe it came from feeding them. Hmm. Probably gonna be like Ark. I hope it's a little bit like Ark. I don't want it to be like an Ark clone, of course, but. But yeah, I think being able to breed and like min max stats for mounts and stuff is kind of fun. It's a little bit too much in Ark. Like, there's a little bit too much of it, I think, in my opinion. But, uh. I wouldn't mind a little bit of that in this game. Orange butt. Okay, I don't have the iron trouble for that. So hard to see when there's stuff that you can pick up. Even with the little markers. I'm just kind of spamming E and walking in circles. Because I just keep picking up dung, which is always good to have. I actually probably should make more compost than I have. Is that new? Oh, that's not. Skirtow. Oh, that's where the elastic fin comes from. Okay. I don't think I'm going to get any oil here. I think last time I got it again was from feeding them. And uh, I don't have food on me. I mean, I have plenty of food to feed them, but I, I don't want to go grab it right now. I'd rather uh, go upgrade Midhaven. Actually, I should probably plant these two. I think I think you get extra plants. Like things that aren't uh, cotton and fiber or whatever from planting seeds here. I think you get like other special plants. Fresh bush. Yeah, another fresh bush. I don't think I've even seen that one before. I also don't think you really get that much from repairing buildings other than culture, which I don't really need right now. I don't think. Let's do Midhaven then. Oh wait, I do want to get food. I want to get some food to feed the animals at the other flower, the other tree. I thought I had like a... Oh, I guess I have berries. But I thought I had a bunch of uh, cabbage. There we do. Lettuce, I guess. Uh, also, let's grab seeds. Let's grab a whole stack of these. Fungi spore two. Why not? So I want to plant these all at the tropical biome. I don't know if you can. I don't even know if you can. You might need special different seeds for that area. But I assume, like, common seeds. It says, acquired from temperate shrubs. You can use this to plant. It doesn't say you have to plant it in a temperate zone. We'll see. I really want to start to be able to build... Uh, chests over here so we can get some supplies going on in Midhaven. Not sure about stats, but maybe one mount at a time of any teamable creature. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Like a... Almost like Pokemon. But with mounts. Alright, what do you want now? Thank you, little Good apprentice. Now that you finally removed the rune debris and... Got the tropical ecosystem growing, the real work can begin. It's going to be a lot of work to turn this sad rubble hole into something halfway adequate. We will not be able to restore Midhaven to the level we need all in one go. We shall do this in a matter of three tiers. I've written the list of materials we need here for the first tier on the build post. I command you to go look at it. This guy's a dick. Off with you now. Allow me time to contemplate. There is so much to build, Little Apprentice. So much. Um, where is the... Oh, it's up there. Wood, stone, hide, dust. That's so easy. I don't have it here with me, but I'm going to go... Uh, actually, you know what? I'll just do this now. Wood, stone... Was it... Wood, stone, hide, and dust. I just realized the portal has like a bunch of like gold stripes and stuff in it.
I don't know if I even have wood. How am I accessing? What are you talking about? Okay, there's hide. There's the wood. Okay. And stone. And I knew I have gold somewhere. There it is. One thing about the map, the map is actually pretty okay for the most part. It doesn't need to be anything more than what it is. I do wish it could be moved faster with the mouse. It kind of like, when I move the mouse, it kind of, see how it like lags behind the mouse? I wish it was more snappy and instant. I don't think it needs to have that like kind of swishy like lag behind it. Uh, I also wish that zooming in and out was faster. Like I'm, I'm spamming my scroll down and now I'm spamming scroll up and it's really slow. Doesn't need to be that slow. Oh, not enough wood. God damn it. Okay, we can pick some up. There should be some sticks. There was last time. There's one. I think we need, what, three? Yeah, one more. Oh, there's, I guess there's a couple trees around. They're just far away. I need to figure out how to fix the ghosting effect that I keep getting, like the trailing, like especially on my head. Like when I look around, you can see like my head. Well, not so much there, but here, like my top of my head keeps like trailing behind my character. It's really weird. There we go. Dead skinny tree. kind of mossy rocks in places that I feel like there shouldn't be. I don't think there would be moss in the middle of like this desert. So I'm guessing what Midhaven's going to be, I'm, I think that the settlements you can build, like the farming tower, I think they can get quite complex and like pretty heavily upgraded and have a lot of things that you can use, like resources and, and like tools and technologies and stuff that you can get. I think Midhaven is going to be like the hub that is not only the most upgradable, but I think it's going to be upgraded faster and easier than the other ones. It's just my I, a theory, I guess. That way you can kind of see what you can build the other ones up to. Can't you see? Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck off. I, it, like, this guy is the worst. Turn in all. Midhaven Tower Tier 1. Wait, what happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, where did it go? Did I delete the whole place? What? What was that? Why was, why was I underneath him like that? Is he gonna die? <laughs> Dude, if this character died? From me sneaking up on him, that would have been hilarious. Uh, have you any idea what would happen to this village without its head architect? I don't think anything would change. It would collapse, crumble. There would be chaos, corruption. Cannibalism. I don't. I think you're being a little dramatic, dude. Look at all the Shimu down there. All demanding from me. Build me a home, Ajit. Build me a shop, Ajit. Architects don't build. When are you going to build us a bathroom, Ajit? My family has nowhere to bathe. My family is filthy, Ajit. Ajit. Oh, his name is Ajit. I, I don't understand the choice to do, like, Simoleon language in this game. Pastu. It's 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 a strange choice for sure. It makes everything just not feel serious. 
My gratitude is upon you and Colkin for building Midhaven up to tier one. I was starting to think I'd be as aged as a village elder when you finish, but I did see you eventually get it done. Could you impeach us too? As my brother always told me growing up, your best is not good enough. Do better than that. Why? What are you doing? Oh, okay. You see, when you're part of the family with their own family crest, you got to live to the top. Oh, you got to live up to. Okay. Uh, you must hold yourself to high standard. The, you must hold yourself to the same particular standard as I do myself, little apprentice. Well, give me a crest then. Now we must continue building up our glorious mecca of Midhaven. The Shimu are depending on us as they don't hesitate to remind me every 12 seconds. To expand Midhaven further, I know that uh, I must know about the surrounding area. I need to travel to Ashaya Shrine and rebuild it. This will give us a detailed map of the Ashaya region that we are all in. Doing this with any shrine will give you the map of that region. Oh, nice. Okay. But let us focus on Ashaya for now, little apprentice. Aluna has some further requests of us before we upgrade Midhaven to tier two, so speak with her. As ever, the materials we require will be listed on the build post. One last thing, take this glider, a huge upgrade from your pathetic parachute. Hell yeah. Take it, don't tell anyone about my little outburst that may or may not have just occurred, deal? Away with your littleness now, complete these tasks and then return to your superior. Hell yeah. Try harder, try, try harder, Cyan? I, I, I am. Aren't they wanting cross village automation? I don't know. Did you go get the outside? Wait, did you go? Did you get to go outside the detailed area on the map now? Oh, I don't think that's what that means. I think so. When I got this shrine here, oh, I didn't even build this. Never mind. But this area is like green. I don't know if that's because I've been restoring it slowly, but this area is still like brown and like it looks like paper sort of still. But this area looks like it actually is like a real map. I think that's what it's talking about. They want to be beat up and spit on. Wh who? This island is mapped? Yeah, it somehow is mapped. I don't know how, because I didn't restore the shrines yet. I restored, um, I think only this thing. No, this thing. Tahi's hut. Oh, what is that? Wait, I... Is the glider... Where's the glider? Didn't he give it to me? Hang on, I gotta turn the music in the game down. It's like a little bit too loud. Just like so slightly. Just compared to the rest of the game at least. Alright, I'm stuck. Uh, okay, what I Okay, glider. He gave me a glider, right? I guess... Oh, there it is. It just looks like a fucking, like... A chicken leg. I'm assuming it's the same thing as before, but you can travel forward with it more. Oh, that's super nice. Also, it uses way less stamina. What is this for? Is this to, is this something that is like a building going to go here? Or do I get to build on that? Why are you wearing a gas mask? I heard the areas are still infested with withered. You will get hurt by being out there. It's called the withered haze. Maybe Koro's vision was wrong. Maybe a gas was not ready for a return. I'm having major deja vu right now. Weird. What is that? Is this like a traveling salesman? Gold merchant? Oh, shit. Okay, we need this. I'm glad I have my gold on me. I don't know how many of those we need, but we do need at least one of them. Oh. I was going to say, where'd it go? Can you turn music down a bit more? It's good, but conflicting even with you. Oh, is it really? Oh, it didn't even get turned down. That's why. I'm so sorry. That should hopefully be better. So I did turn the game up when that happened. Oh, this area is nice and lush now. F has apply. Did you apply? I did. I forgot that this game has, like, the old standard of having to confirm settings for some reason. I get it for some things, like graphical settings, maybe, but it's just I, it's just not necessary. Apply yourself. It's what I've been told in school growing up my whole life. Wooden planks. You still don't have the means to do that. I'm just going to keep that in there, though. 
You should at least ask. It should, you're right. I wish these, like, ruins got cleared out when I upgraded this place. I, I don't want to really mine them all because it takes too long. All right, let's go back to the temperate... Or not the temperate, the tropical uh, seed thing. And uh, let's go feed the animals there. And maybe get some oil, too. Because I think there was oil there last time. Also, I think that a barber is in this town now. I just saw, like, a haircut symbol, like a little scissor symbol. Should eat. Oh, I actually barely didn't waste that. There's just like a tiny sliver of health missing still, which is perfect. Okay, I think I discovered all these creatures, the ones that are here now at least. Wait, what about that one? Anything flying? Oh, there's some more of these guys. Or similar, I guess, to the other ones. The, like, razor fins or whatever. Razor flyers. Something's trying to attack me. It's a withered Razalith. Why? Why are you even here? Nobody invited you. It's like when you have a party with all your friends and then, like, somehow somebody let it slip to, like, the friend, like, the, not the friend, but, like, the asshole that, like, somehow was part of your group because you guys all went to school together or whatever. And he just, like, shows up at the party and everyone's, like, kind of annoyed. What the fuck are you talking about? He brought his friend, too? And my sword just broke. Why am I unlocking a bunch of recipes? What happened? What happened? What did I do? Why am I getting all these recipes? I've already had these recipes. I've had these the whole time. Medium storage box, that's actually huge. Why did I get a ham and sausage recipe? I didn't, I didn't know how to make those. Weird. Um, I don't know why those guys are... I guess maybe they're spawning because this used to be a nest. I hope that's not like an issue. Uh, okay, what do you need? Creatures fed, tropical seeds planted, easy. Fully grown plants, easy. Can I get some seeds? We go. Oh, I never got to study the uh, birds. It's a stupid fucking Razalith. Makasa. Esukasa. All right, now I'm just gonna wait for these to grow and then feed them, and I should be good for the tier two. I think this plant's going to look really cool, because it's supposed to be a flower. No, don't eat it, you dumbass. Well, I guess I could use some food, but... I don't know if the best way to do this is. I've just been spamming them all kind of in one spot while walking forward. But I don't know if, like, distributing it over the course, like, over the, the whole area is better. Probably is. Salt fern. I'm guessing this is gonna give me salt. It does. And tropical sea. Oh, that's where you get kelp. Oh shit. That doesn't really make any sense, but I'll take it because I need kelp. I got more seeds too, that's pretty cool. I think they spawn at dead zones at night. That makes sense, yeah. I guess one in dead zones just rarely in general, but like more so at night. I'm thinking since you don't have to pull tools out anymore to use them, I'm going to unlink those. And I think, I'm, well, I can't right now, but I think I just want to link seeds. Like food doesn't need to be on there either. I mean, maybe, maybe my like actual healing food should be. But, like these don't need to be on here. The less I can go in my inventory, the better. I, I think a lot of games spend too much time in the inventory, and it is it's kind of annoying. Wow, Nightbot is going crazy. Just taking over chat with reckless abandon. Is it just a tiny tree? 
Can I ban Nightbot? Uh, go for it. I mean, you can't, but go for it. Why is there a dead cuddle plop? What else can I feed them? Oh, berries. Bones? Okay, just one bone. Cool. I need to find more of those salt ferns. Just a bunch of dead cuddle plops. Why? That's such a great name, by the way. Cuddle plop. I love saying it. Palm trees. No, we can leave those. See, why? Okay. Earlier I was talking about, like, you don't need to make every single thing have its own unique, like, in-world name. Why are these just called palm trees? But, like, the, like, aloe vera is, like, alio -ali 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 leaf. Like, why is it, no, why can't it just be aloe vera? Like, why can't it just be that? They seem to attack creatures into lot. Wait, what? Are talking about the the basiliths? Oh, no, the salt fern. Perfect. Dude, the shadows like coming out of nowhere at night is fucked up. No, okay, we're getting a lot of kelp. I love it. What is this? Oh, it's my old balloon. I know that there's a system eventually for like disassembling stuff. Hope I get that kind of soon. You can get scrap, and then you can trade scrap for, like, for example, when I was at that gold salesman guy, that gold uh, trader, he, he could sell scrap for 100 gold, or sell gold for 100 scrap, which is, I don't know how much you get, but. Did I satisfy all your requests? What do you mean creatures fed two out of eight? Are they not eating? I threw so much food out. Also, I guess I killed a bunch of plants, so I gotta wait for them to grow. <laughs> That's fair. I thought I was talking about trees. I don't know why I didn't think about uh, the little bushes I was tearing apart. Uh, while this all does its thing, I'm gonna go back and drop off stuff. What did I just do? I did not mean to drop that. I don't know what I did. Fuck another Razalith. They seem to be spawning, like, right here. Maybe there's a nest that I just don't see. I'm, I, I haven't really heard anything about this game. How, like, how many people are streaming this game? Do you guys know? Are you guys able to check that? I mean, I could look too, but I, I don't know. I'm just curious. I, I want to know, like, if it's doing well or not. Oh, shit. I lost my way again. There we go. I guess I can check the category. How many play How many people are watching? 190. That's actually pretty good. That's way higher than I thought it would be. Oh, 190 viewers. Okay, I thought it was 190 streamers. Why can't I, why can't I switch to OBS? My mouse is stuck in the game. I hate when that happens. There we go. It was 250 when I started streaming. But yeah, it's 190 now. Very few followers, which is not usually great, but... I, I'm not, like, concerned about it. I just was curious. I wanted to know... I want the game to do well, because I want the developers to get a lot of feedback, because I want the game to be better. We have another one of these, the village board. Maybe I should talk to Haluna. Oh, maybe maybe I can actually use that now. There's all the like houses and stuff here. Can I use any of these for anything? Like, is can I sleep? Do I, is my tent here? Do I have to make a new tent? I think I have to make a new tent. Oh, here's the barber I was talking about. Large greetings, young adventure. You could use a fresh cut. No, a fancy trim. No, I think I'm okay. I don't see the purpose of doing that. I have a mask on anyways. Uh, now I should be able to build chests, I think, in this area. And I, the, I, I imagine the best place to do that would be 
Yeah, there we go. Medium storage, which is not... Wait, it's the same price? Weird. Resin, fiber, and wood. Cool. I, I really super dearly hope that there's an upgrade that you can get to make it so all chests are linked between different villages. Resin, fiber... Oh, well, I guess I didn't grab the resin yet, but I need fiber and wood. Am I out of wood again already? Are you serious? Didn't I just grab, like, a ton of it? How much kelp do I have? Not enough. Put that away. I don't need this anymore. Actually, I should probably quick stack these. I did want some of these, though. They also upped the, uh... The stack amount. This used to be capped at 25. Cool. I still... Well, I have a decent amount of space. Did I get more inventory space? I think I got, like, four more slots. Alright, we need wood. I don't want to... Oh, okay. I'm going to go turn my Amity in, and then I'll get wood. They seem to spawn anywhere. There isn't green life when night hits, but these creatures... Uh, but chase creatures into the tree. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. I think the, the solution, then, is just to make the... Like, upgrade that ecosystem so that it's, it's like, bigger. So if it's bigger, then the creatures are going to wander outside of it less. Whoa, what is that? Walrus, walrus, walrus stream. Translucid ink. One of its drops, that's cool. Fucking, I love flying creatures, I think they're super cool. Like, flying big creatures, not just like birds and stuff. I mean, birds are fine, but... Like in uh, Satisfactory, there's like these big manta rays that fly around. I think they're super cool looking. I like I think taking aquatic creatures that kind of look like they're flying underwater, right? And just turning them into actual flying creatures is just is a, is a cool vibe. We need a better way to get wood. I don't know if the only way to get wood is chopping down trees in this game, but I, I really hope there's a better way to get like a lot of wood because two at a time from a tree is not great. I hope that you can make, like, wood farms, or maybe, like, a, a huge trees you can cut down that give you, like, 50 wood or something. That would be nice. Have you found an acorn? I don't think I have. Why don't these have, like, roots underneath them? Oh, never mind. I'm picking up the piece of wood that's sitting next to it, I see. I think it's faster just to chop these little, like, dead trees. Because you get just as much wood as the big ones, and they chop down way faster. I'm guessing acorns have something to do with getting wood more easily. Or a lot of it, at least. Twenty-four wood. Uh, it's not great, but it's enough for now. It's also possible that maybe different biomes have different amounts of different resources from their plants. Like the palm trees, maybe give more wood than these other trees here. It's just a different biome we have to go to. Oh, I have the oil. I don't know where I got it, but I got the oil. Okay, we got to get the cob and turn that in. I'll make more fertilizer, too, because I have so much shit. And bones. I didn't mean to make just one, but whatever. Wait, can I make more? Stop, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. S -s Go away. Uh, cancel? 
I don't know if that wasted any, but I want to make more. Do like 10. I might regret that, because I've, I've needed a lot of shit for different quests. I also need more shit to turn into the shit guy. Joe, did you see the shit guy? Like the living, like, shit pile that I found? Uh, we need to go... Wait. We need the limestone. And the oil. I think I have the oil. Yeah, I have the oil. Where are you? What? See, this is this is what I'm talking about. Where like you get stopped by the wall, just reasonable, but you can't jump over it because you can't get momentum while moving, like like while jumping. It's it's kind of weird. I found him and another. I think I'm going the wrong way. Am I? No, I'm not. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Please. There's a lot of fucking enemies right now. I feel like maybe the game gets more hostile as you progress. Alright, here's a shrine. Do we get, we get some sort of map or something from this, right? And a statue. Oh, that's a okay, that's huge. Nice. He's be kind of like borderline like Incan vibes. It's kind of cool. I like it. Which I guess the mask that I have does too. Uh, okay, so what does that do? I just unlocked a couple things, but I don't think it, it didn't like really do anything. Nothing important at least. Alright, we're almost done with that too. I, I want to get that done soon. Before stream ends at least. We just need kelp, which for some reason you get in like a tropical forest. I'm sure there's other ways to get it too, but it's the only way that I've found so far. I'm going to ride manually over there instead of warping because I do want to find a little bit more uh, limestone. and I, There's always a bunch kind of past the bridge here. Also, I just realized it's kind of really inconvenient to get to the, the poop. Oh, this thing does have stamina. Oh, okay, I see what's happening. So this has a stamina bar, and I have a stamina bar, but sometimes the game gets them confused. That's what's happening. The pond is good. Is there kelp in the pond? Oh, that actually makes sense. I'm going to look that up. Or uh, not look that up. I'm going to go check really quick, because there was a pond right here. Pond is also like a, that's a weird place for kelp to exist because it's kelp is in the ocean. Wait, I kind of swore there was a pond right here. Oh, there is. What did I just hear? Make like a growling sound. Where? Wait, where am I going? Oh, there it is. There it is, okay. I don't know if this is the right one, because this one looks kind of... dead. Yeah, there's not really much here. Maybe that's it? Is that is that kelp? It actually might be. Seagrass. Kelp! Nice. Not quite enough. But now that I know that, that's actually really useful. I need two more. I also need a bunch of poop, and I need the elastic fin. So we can go back home really quick, because that's where all that stuff is. One by the tree, right, yeah. Is this, I think there's another one. Oh, I thought I saw one here, but I guess not. My mount is running to me? Oh, okay, so it does run to you when it's close by, but not 
not so close that it just like is right there. It's good to know. I hope that restoring this actually unlocks something tangible and not just like not like when I got the shrine where it just gave me like a couple items. I'm assuming it's gonna attract certain creatures that wouldn't otherwise be accessible or like plants or something. It's thin and I need 30 poop. I don't know if I have 30 poop though. I don't know if I have any poop. There's poop. Alright, let's go. Yeah, this one seems like it would have way more in it, because it's, it's huge, and I remember, like, diving in here when I was trying to fish at first, not realizing how fishing worked. And yeah, there's a lot more down here. There's also a treasure chest? Simple vine leap. Is that a potion? I think it's a potion. Or, I don't know, actually. One more. Should probably fish more. Especially now that they... Oh, I got row. Nice. Now that they uh, patched it to make fishing easier, I should probably do that more. I could tell you. I mean, I'll, I'll discover in, in like 45 seconds. Let's go, horsey. Something's fighting over there. Oh, wait. I should probably... I, can, I gotta... Pay attention to clay more. I need more of this. And my shovel's broken. Fuck off. What are you doing? There's been, like, way more Withered Razalith the last 40 minutes of the game than normal. It's really weird. And they just kind of keep popping up in, like, random spots. Or more random than they were at the beginning. It seemed like they mostly... What? Oh, okay. They mostly only were spawning around the nests. But now they're just kind of everywhere. Should probably harvest those, but it's fine. I'll get it later. Also, there's a lot of coal deposits, but so far there hasn't been any use for coal. I, I really hope we get, like, furnaces and stuff soon, if that's where the game is going. I'm assuming that's where it's going. No, this is the wrong way? Yeah. They're right. Also, there's, like, definitely defined kind of road-like features that you can travel on easily like the, what I'm traveling on right now it, it feels like a road but like a natural road um, I wish those were on the map I mean they kind of are like a little bit but I wish it was a little bit more defined okay I guess it is pretty well defined oh maybe that's what this the shrines does maybe it makes the the roads more obvious possibly I don't actually remember seeing this, but now that I'm looking at the map, it's it's obviously here. Hey, what is this? Oh, it's the bridge. Okay. All right, Mr. Shit, I got all your stuff. Is he gonna be like happy? Or is he gonna explode? I hope he dies. I actually don't. I don't like him being alive. Don't forget to stand back when you give it. 
Cold by starvation with all this stuff, and then I can see what I can do about getting the grove grown. I'm assuming he's gonna explode and and, and fertilize it all. That's the stuff. All right, stand back and let me see if I can remember how to do this. Spirits of spirits of, of eternal wove. Spirits of spirits, let us flourish this grove. Uh, I can't actually. I can't actually stand back. I can't move. I think we're fine. I think it's okay. Short temperate tree. Wow, okay, this area is like it's like a underwater Holy shit. Okay, this area is cool as hell. Whoa. Look at the, it looks like a building up there. Damn, okay, this grew really fast. What does this do though? Hearing bubbling? Oh, it's a fucking nest. What are you doing here? The little tiny razolith over there. Any closer and he gets on you? Where the fuck did that go? Did it die? It did. What the hell? I'm guessing there has to be something here. Does the map change at all? Not really. Like, is this like, can I harvest any of these? Can I... Is there any animals? I don't see anything. Destroying nests kills them. I didn't know, I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't think I knew that. I, I just always kill them before they can kill me, I guess. Okay, oh my god, just get on the root. Okay, I guess you can't. You can't stand on that, it just slides off. There's a creature. I think I already... Oh, no, I haven't identified that yet. It looks like the ones that they found before, though. Like the razor wing or whatever. Spire wisp, okay. There's some animals. What do these guys drop? Translucent ink. Okay, so it seems like I'll, I'll need some of that at some point. I haven't needed any yet. I, I wanna, I'm trying to climb up to the top of this thing because it looks like there's stuff up here, but like, they don't seem like they want to be climbed. At least from a gameplay point of view. They just like don't really let you climb them. I'm just gonna go up the cliff, I guess. Also, I never went in here because it looks scary. I wanna, I wanna check this out a little bit. I mean, it is kind of scary. Could be tricky. I think. I just wanna see if I can get on top of one of these leaves. But I'm gonna go up this way. And just get up top and then glide onto it. It doesn't seem like there's anything up there, but I just want to see. Like, maybe there's seeds or something, kind of like there is in some of the other big plants. Okay, I just... Failed that. Like, gems? I... Maybe. That wasn't really what I had in mind. I thought more, like, like seeds, like I said. Like the... God damn it! Just fucking grab onto the rock! Be stickier. Climb. Climb. There you go. Climb again! Stop falling! What are you doing? Oh my god. I think they could really benefit from increasing the angle in front of your character at which you can grab onto rocks. Or cliffs or whatever. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything on top of these. You can't even really grab them anyways, so there's nobody to get on top. I could fly from up there, but what is happening here? Are these more flying creatures? Beetle wisp. I I guess they don't die. There we go. That's a lot of fucking creatures. Holy shit! I didn't get any of the translucent ink or whatever it's called. 
a lot of flyers. Oh, wait, there was something up there. God damn it. What about this stuff? Can I grab any of this blue stuff? No. Okay, I'm just gonna take my horse up there and, and go all the way around, because climbing is not it in this game. It's useful when you need it, and it's necessary when it you have to use it, but it's it's really not great. This is not where I want to be. I don't think I've even been over here before. Okay, dude, just go. I see there's two stamina bars again. Greater nest? Yeah, I found a nest earlier that was like a tower. It had a bunch of guys with swords surrounding it and like big hands and stuff. It's wild. It was actually pretty hard. I mean, it wasn't hard. It just took a long time to take out. Just had to snipe him with the bow. I guess this is as good as we're going to get for getting up top. See, like that is where the climbing is frustrating. It's like, why why did it not climb a bunch of times and then finally it just decided to grab on? I'm going to fall off of this for sure. No, we're good. There's, there's something up there I can grab. I just need to climb up on top of this and then fly onto it. I feel like if they want you to go up on these and grab stuff, make it so you can climb the plant. Oh, what is this? A ruby deposit? Oh shit, I need an iron pickaxe. I'm gonna do this one. Because if I fall, then at least I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. Seagrass. Oh. Oh shit, you just get like a ton of kelp. Oh my god. It like destroys your amity though. This is great. I don't know if I'm going to need more seagrass for something specific. Wait, what else did I get? What was that? The sh uh, what I, I got something else. Is it salt? Oh, I got row. Yeah, salt. Okay. This is actually kind of crazy. What are the ones with the arrows on them? There's like little arrows in some of these. So seagrass. Seagrass. I guess just some of them have arrows on them for some reason. Or most of them do? I don't know. Like, is this also seagrass? This this pink one? No. I don't I don't really understand. The arrows it seems like they're bugging out. Okay, I think I have enough of this. I don't think I need more. Well, it's good to know. It's like an infinite source of food. Um, I guess that's all you get from this place, though. It's like finding a bunch of oxygen or sodium plants in No Man's Sky. I haven't played No Man's Sky in so long. Like, ever since it came out, when it was, like, kind of shit. There's a plant floating in the air over there. I don't know if that's intentional. Also... A uh, very large sounding animal somewhere. What was that? Is that more seagrass just on the rock over there? No, it's just decorative spindles. I definitely do like this game, how, like, the goal is to restore nature and stuff, right? Yeah, 
I kind of miss when it was shit. I I don't. I don't. That guy was freaked me out actually. Uh, but I feel like there should be more reward for restoring stuff, right? Like, I mean, yeah, you could argue the the reward is that it's restored, but like, I don't know. I didn't like. I feel like with how much time and effort it takes to restore this, you should get something. Maybe I got new recipes and just didn't realize. What do you want a pat on the head? I I mean, yeah, kind of. I'm done for some head pats. But I think like a uh, like oh, like here's like an upgrade so like I, I restored like the shit, the living shit guy, right? Like I gave him his his stuff. Maybe it's like oh, like a 20% increase on uh Fertilizing, like, fertilizer, like, creation speed or something like that, right? Like, just something, I don't know, some sort of gameplay reward. I'm gonna go back and finally build those chests, because I've been, yeah, I still haven't built those yet. I've, I've been using a bunch of wood, but I don't even know what on. I think making new tools. No, fuck off. Oh my god. I'm so tired of these brassliths just being everywhere. This island is is close to becoming like fertile though. There's a lot of the area is covered by grass now. A perk, 20% increase on shit. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, he was made out of shit. He, I think he can make that happen, right? Surely. I want to check this out. They want me to see fish from the bridge. But, like, how do I do that without falling in the water? Oh, maybe I need to scan the fish like this? Wait, let me check the map, or the, the journal. Or, I guess, this thing, if I can actually hover over it. Um, she wants me to observe some for her to help us both learn. Can I actually view the journal? Oh, there's two. Okay. Observe fishes with a shimoscope. I apparently already did one of them. Maybe it doesn't literally mean from the bridge. Maybe it just means in general. Let me go back into that pond that's over here. Can you scan a corpse? I don't know. It's a good question. Why does the horse feel... It feels slower on the bridge than anywhere else. I don't think it is, though. I think it's just because there's less, like... Like, autism stimulation sounds that it's making. Fish float past death. True, but I can't even see. I don't even know where they are at all up there. So I can just I can just dive into here instead. Scan some of the fish that are in here. Wait, you can't scan while you're in in the water. Why? Oh, I don't know if we're, we're apparently we found one. There we go. Mud Chol. This is a weird name. I I like the idea, because like, it actually is a real thing, of just calling something like a mud fish or like a mud snail. Like you're just res like you're you're calling it something that everyone thinks is just like a gross thing. You're just automatically making this seem like a kind of a gross animal. Like that'd be like like what if there was like like a shit bird or like the like cum snail like you those are just gross right like why why the mud bird why mud why mud snail why mud fish mud skipper that just seems mean I feel like we name animals mean things a lot or like the like the big nosed like jackal or whatever like it's like. 
I don't know. I feel like you're just like making fun of their insecurities. Oh, I went not far enough. Come snail. I think you might have joined at the wrong time. The way they leap and dance among the waves, the fauna of Agazba is even more incredible than the stories the elders told us. Legend or long ago, the Shimu developed a special bow for fishing and catching flyers called the tethered bow. Basically combines the power of a bow and a string to create something that the earth has never seen before. Uh, you're talking about something that used to exist, but they've somehow never seen it before? My father entrusted me with the knowledge to craft it back on the Hora when he decided to take me on as a fisherman's apprentice. I wanted to make sure that you had learned to appreciate the majest majesty of these creatures before passing that knowledge on to you. Dude, the, the smiles are fucked. Why is she not making eye contact either? It's weird. She's like looking at my penis. I feel that I can trust you with the recipe now. I'll just need some of these materials to show you how it's made. Oh, wait, I have all that. Oh my god. Out of 172 arrows. Blue-footed booby? Exactly. How would you avoid the immortal snail? Um. Isn't the... Don't you get like a bunch of money if you do this? Like how much money do you get when you take on the deal of the immortal snail? Or is it... Or are we talking about like no money? Like you just... It's life or death. Like you just have to... You, the only way to live is from the snail. Or to, to, to survive by the snail. A lot, but it always follows and chases you. Um, rumor has it Dada has eyes for Hyuk. You're right. Wow, you did it. Thanks for your effort, friend. Here's the instructions on how to make your own tethered bow. Remember, the bow has uses other than hunting. If something is out of your reach... Oh, this is like a grappling hook. Thank you for taking the time to study the glory of wildlife with me. I'll head back to the Midhaven now, I guess. Powell's there, right? Cool. Um, oh, I got it already. Creatures, in the oh, you can use it to get seeds. It's actually really useful. And it touches you, you die. Um, so. The snail is immortal. But like, is it willing to cross the ocean? Will it cross the ocean? Because couldn't you just move to a different continent or like buy an island or something? It will do whatever it can to destroy you. Um, well, like Joe said, can you just build like a, a impenetrable barrier, like a box around you? Like just like live in a hermetically sealed house? Or maybe not hermetically sealed because you would die, I think. But like, you know, you know what I mean? Like just like weatherproof house. I don't think a snail's getting in. Unless it has, like, firearms. Which I don't think is the case. One day you open the door and bam, snail. Yeah, but, like, you opening the door, it's not, like, it's not it's fast, right? It's a snail speed snail. It can't surprise you like that. You just open the door and, like, look around everywhere, right? Also, does it have to touch your skin? It falls on your head? Does it have to touch your skin? Or does it have to, like, is it, is it touching your clothes? Is that, like, enough for it to kill you? A far cry from what it once was, but a profound step in that direction. My largest gratitude is young one. It keeps prompting me to ask if it, Idjit is okay, but I fucking don't care, like, at all. I actually hate the guy. Before upgrading the next Midhaven tier, please check the village board for matters we must attend to in the meantime. We cannot focus solely on the building of Midhaven at the expense of what our people need, young one. Furthermore, it, I've received word that the HOA is having difficult has, it's having a difficult traversing through the accursed withered haze. I'm assuming it's difficult T. Our alchemist Data should be able to help craft an elixir to protect her from the haze, but Data needs somewhere to work. I can ask you to construct an alchemy building within the bounds of Midhaven. You'll find it in your build menu. My faith is ever is in you, young one. Alright, so we got new buildings. Finally, beyond, before we can continue resorting to Midhaven. Restoring Midhaven, I mean. It's like, like what Haluna would like us to do before we upgrade Midhaven. Complete the Withered Expedition. Build the Ishaya Shrine. Beat the Forest God, Sea God, and Sky God. Okay, so we can't do the Mountain God yet. 
Uh, culture points, zero out of 100, and required buildings, just three, I guess. That's to touch you in a way that the snail defines. What do you mean? How does the snail define? What do you mean? Village requirements. Before a village or midhaven can be upgraded to the next tier, certain requirements need to be completed. The requirements re uh, include various tasks, as well as the number of village structures of each type that need to be built within that village or midhaven. These requirements are posted to the village board and can be viewed on the map by hovering over the village or the midhaven icon. The settlement's culture is improved by building decorative structures within that settlement from your creative crafting table. Check the structure's item subscription to see how much culture points it's worth. Oh, okay. All right, I want to go back to the uh, jungle flower or whatever. Because I think we should have the quest there done. You are also immortal while the snail exists. Uh, what about... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, what if I kill the snail, but it's immortal too. I would hire a team of snail wranglers to keep an eye out for errant snails on my property and box up any potential decoy snails. I feel like if you have... Do you have, like, basically infinite funds? Because why wouldn't you just move every, like... Th like, just buy, like, ten houses... And then just move every couple months. What the fuck was that noise? Why? Fuck off, Razaliths. Wait, I don't have that anymore. I have just like my, my this bow. Okay, I don't really want to shoot like tethered arrows at this thing. I feel like it's bad. Fuck off. Oh my god. I hate I hate the Razalus. They're too there's too many of them in places that should be safe. Like I feel like that grove should be safe. I, my other grove is safe. I don't know why this one's not. I guess I just gotta make it bigger or something. There's too many like Razalus hunting inside there. Thank you. That was delayed? How how delayed was it? it I don't think it was. Because it popped up on my screen, like the kill cam popped up on my screen, like right when you used it. Is Razleth gone? I think it is. I don't know why I'm digging that. I don't need to do that. My browser was sucking. Oh, okay. Huh. Large greetings, Maledris human. Are you the mind to grow? Yep, I am. Uh, creatures fed. How do you mean, dude? I left so much food here last time. Should probably eat a skewer too. That way I don't just get assassinated out of nowhere. Maybe to like like physically throw it at a creature? Otherwise it doesn't eat it. Eat. Oh right, they eat different things. Okay, so they, they okay. I get it. I have so much kelp, I'm gonna feed them kelp. Maybe they don't like berries. I think that's what the, the, what the problem is. They threw berries here last time. Most are working now. Good. Wait, were they not before? You wouldn't have to move very often. Your average garden snail moves at... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's slow as fuck. Yeah, just move to the other side of the country every once in a while. That's all you have to do. Do you know, like, when you when this challenge starts, do you and the snail start, like, 10 feet away? Like, is it, like, do you know which snail it is? Or is it just any snail could be the snail? The snail knows you. You do not know the snail. Okay, shit. I was gonna say, just have someone, like, hire somebody to watch it at all times. Or put, like, a small tracker on it. I still don't know what the little orange bar underneath food is. Like, if I equip this, see this orange bar underneath the, the kelp on the bottom right? Actually, you can't see it. It's underneath me. Um, that little orange
orange bar down there. I don't know what that means. I thought it was like spoilage. I thought maybe food spoiled, but it doesn't seem to. I think it might just be like they they didn't have a system to turn off the like durability bar when you equip something, so they just like gave it nothing. I don't know. After the thought process of elimination, you could hire an anti-snail militia to put trackers on all snails that approach you and hop into a plane to see which one does circles in perpetuity. That's actually hilarious. Uh, what is this game about? This game is about... Uh, you're like a, a, a displaced people, I guess. You used to live in this world that was very lush and very... Uh, what's the word? The, the very strong like ecosystems kind of like think like pandora from avatar very lots of forests lots of jungles there was like jungle gods and the, all these magnificent creatures and stuff um and then some event happened that hasn't really explained it to us yet um something called the withering that caused everything to die back and the game is about you uh you have like this special power to interact with like the life force of the planet or of the world and you come and you have to like, like right now, for example, I'm, I'm around this tree thing here, this like plant that I planted. Um, and as I complete certain tasks in this environment, in this specific ecosystem, it'll expand the reaches of like this kind of grass here. But you can see over here, it's all dead. Or I mean, there's some trees and stuff, but uh, you basically need to like bring the world back to life. Um, like, you can see this island down here is all covered in... It's, like, mostly... I mean, not all of this actually has grass, but the map is showing that it's recovered heavily because it's... There's a lot of grassy areas, but this area up here is still all dead. So you gotta kind of... You're a gardener. Yeah, basically you're a gardener. But you're more of, like, a a, a, a rewilder. That's, like, a thing in, in the real world. Like, there's areas that have been decimated, like, different... Um, is this... Is this... Are you good to go? Different environments that have been decimated by humans, like, like for example, like, uh, Scotland has a bunch of forests in it, um, and it used to have even more, but it has a lot of forests still, but in Scotland, most of the forests are pine forests, which are not the type of forests that used to grow there. It was usually, it was mostly, um, I want to say, yeah, deciduous forests, but now it's all carnivorous forests, but the pines were planted there because they're very fast growing and they're good lumber. They're good straight lumber. Um, but the forests that actually should be in Scotland are deciduous, like oaks and beech trees and, uh, I don't know, other trees of that nature. Like more, you know, big trunk with a big canopy, not so much like big, tall, like needle trees, right? Evergreens. Um, so rewilding in real life is basically chopping down the old pine forests and replacing it with new, like, oaks and whatever uh, that's kind of what you're doing in this game you're taking get rid of, getting rid of like the old life the old like dead kind of shitty life and then replacing it with stuff that's supposed to be there like you're restoring the the ecosystems back to what they were after you garden the area up what do you do next you just keep moving in moving on or is there any combat there is combat uh there's these the the creatures called the wither um, there's none around right now. There's been a lot lately, but they're like these big spider things, and then there's like these crawling hand creatures, and then there's dudes with like swords and stuff. Um, and they kind of, they're like the opposite of what you do, basically. They go and they destroy environments. I don't know if they can destroy the envi environments that you built, but they destroy the ones that existed in the world prior to you. Um, I think there's certain actions you can take to help them on accident. Like, if you do things wrong. But I'm not sure. Carlos might like this game. I, I don't think he, like, actually is a gardener, dude. Why are these animals not eating? Why are they not eating food? Maybe they, they, maybe they don't like the kelp. Shit, I didn't mean to eat that. You guys want more lettuce? Eat the lettuce. Oh, when you throw food down, someone smells it and they come and they're attracted to it. I see. I get how it works now. I don't know why sometimes the food works and sometimes it doesn't, but it seems like some people are finding food now. The little birds like the lettuce the most, I think. 
I don't know why the mushroom cap has like an exclamation point on it. Maybe that means that they'll give you items. Because I know sometimes when you feed them, they give you, uh, like, they'll drop stuff for you. I want to see if I can plant these fungus here. I can. He isn't news. Isn't uh, it's news to me? I, I I don't know. Yeah, I saw the milk too. I thought that was kind of interesting. Oh, here's here's an enemy. It's a very small one, but it is an enemy. Also, I don't have a weapon. Um, get my stupid. Where's the like? Oh, there's the bow. Wait, does this not have durability anymore? I don't think. I think this is, might be in, like an infinitely usable bow. Nice. Okay. I want to see what happens if I plant... So, the fungus I can plant. What about the common seeds? Can I plant those here, too? I can. What does it grow? I'm assuming things like the salt fern. Maybe? Fresh bush. Oh, it grows in five seconds? That's really fast. What is this? I, I just... I guess you get fiber? Whatever. What about strange seeds? I'm assuming these work. I'm, I am I think the only things that you can't plant in the jungle forest, jungle biome, is the uh, temperate seeds. Weird-ass creatures. Did I miss a bow upgrade? You did. Uh, the, the quest where I had to, like, observe fish for the lady on the bridge. Uh, I finished that one, and she upgraded my bow. I don't know if it's a, actually a permanent upgrade or if I just unlock the ability to make it now. Let me check. Oh yeah, it's here. Tethered bow. This is a bow with a rope attached to it. You can use it to catch and pull small creatures and seeds towards you. So, for example, those seeds... Where'd they go? I just saw them. There we go. That one right there. Uh... Yeah, I feel like this should be working, but it's not. I don't know why it's not working. Does it have to be, like, removed from the tree first? That seems dumb. Okay, I fed enough creatures now, right? Surely, please. One more, I gotta feed. One more. Do you have any food left? I have some kelp left. Anybody want this? Is there just, like, a bunch of food on the ground that I'd, like... Oh, there is. Some fresh eggs. Much of the food that I left here earlier is just still on the ground. Feathers, nice. Lettuce. There's a bunch of lettuce still that I just like they just don't eat it. I guess if if you put it down on the ground and they don't eat it, it just stays there. It seems kind of dumb. I feel like they should uh Who just spit at me? Oh, what are you talking about? Dude, oh fuck off. No. Like, this is a terrible as a weapon. It takes way longer to shoot. There's two Razzlis here now. Why are you not doing damage? There we go. It's just really weak compared to the regular bow. I kind of hate this thing. It's awful. I'm annoyed that they took my regular bow to make it because it's just like now I don't have a weapon. Are you out of like spitting? Why are you chasing me like this? Weird. Where's the other one? I think it's far away. Can I make another bow? I actually can't. I don't have enough uh, space. Can I make a sword? Oh, wait. It's in here. Uh, I can't. I don't have any bones. Somehow. Oh, you eat. you're eating. Cool. Perfect. Maybe it just takes time for them to eat. There we go. Most resplendent, I see you've improved the surrounding ecosystem to the point that we may grow the tree. The last thing I'll show you is a spot of amity or some other items. That's fine, I actually have that. I thought I wasn't going to have enough, but we're good. Now then, there it is, my largest gratitudes. Uh, stand back now, please, as I make the solemn plea to the spirits. All right, we've, we've heard this enough. We don't need to read it again every time. Where's the, why is there confetti? It's like in Halo 3 when you shoot the grunts in the head and their head explodes with the confetti. It's like the same effect. Wow, the thing is gigantic. Holy shit. Nice. More health. Always good.
Oh yeah, okay. Some more creatures too. What is this guy? These look kind of like they could be dangerous. They kind of look like raptors. Blue Gora. What do you like? You like cactuses and carrots and kelp. So it looks like you can make some more like tailored food for the creatures. Because they will eat this stuff, but they, they want like the simple fruit treats or whatever. Also, does this have one of those like super seeds on top? These are such a pain. You have to climb when you're supposed to climb them. Found a latex tree. That's kind of cool. That sounds that sounds interesting. I I'm curious where the uh, like the tech tree is gonna go. It's like I haven't even found iron tools yet. Oh my god! Can you fucking climb? No, climb! Stop pushing me backwards. What are you doing? Go up! Dude, this shit is... whack. There is a big seat up here. Fuck, my inventory's full. I'm just gonna eat these roots, I don't care. Oh my god! I hate- this is the worst. There has to be a better way to get do, the, the, do this shit. There's no way that this is the intended way to get up here. Because it's it's just... it's. Look at it! Look how broken this shit is! It's so annoying! I've definitely got to the point where the like, climbing mechanics are the like biggest issue that I have with this game. Literally unplayable. Like, actually, for real it is. Because you're, I need to grab this item, but I can't because the game has mechanics that are needed, like, you need to use them, but they're so shit that you can barely even use it. You have to, like, finesse it perfectly. There we go, finally. Like, or make- if, if there's, like, an intended place to climb on the plant, do, like, the yellow paint shit, where there's just, like, paint on the edges. It's like, oh, climb to this one, and then climb to this one. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. We're fine. What they should do is just make it... There we go. Just make it so that you can climb anything. Like, why Why is it... Why does it keep, like, dropping me off the side, like, randomly? Oh, yeah, this area is way bigger now. We're going to get uh, bothered by Razalith, I think, a lot less. What does this do? Is this going to be another, like, fat walker? fuck is happening? Why is there so much smoke? This thing was not big enough to make that much smoke. This is a weird looking plant. Bleeding heart. Okay. Alright, one last thing I want to do before I head off for tonight. I want to go back to my other ecosystem. The temperate zone. And I want to feed the other, the, the walking the fat walker or whatever plant. To think it's the last bud on this stage, maybe we'll get something to happen. I don't know. It's probably gonna do another thing where it's like, oh, you fed it, now wait an hour. But I just wanna see. This area is a mess. There's shit everywhere still. Can you warp on this? No. You have a bunch of tropical seeds with you? I think one of the guy, uh, one of the things to grow in the temperate one next was seeds from another biome? Wait, did it say that? Oh, to upgrade it, right? Actually, let me check. I mean, I have them on me, yeah. I have eight of them. I do remember kind of vaguely remember that being mentioned, but I don't remember what it was for. Oh, this area is so nice now.
I love the little walrus guy up there. So cool. Oh, seeds planted from other ecosystems. Oh, you're right. I figured that meant in the other ecosystem. Like, what happens if I plant the tropical seed here? Can I even? Oh, I can. Okay, this is interesting. Are these going to grow different plants here, though? Is the question. Cotton flower. Apparently not. Aren't fat walkers are made to be extra life sources? Oh, nice. A weird name for them. This place seems to support way more life now, even though the area budget thing still doesn't work. It doesn't actually show the right value. I can very clearly plant a lot more. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I just, I ate food. Do these guys want kelp too? I don't think so. Oh, those guys want fish and eggs. I give you some eggs. I, I gotta make sure I don't actually eat this. You want that, right? Yeah, you want it. What do you give me, though? I mean, Amity, obviously, but... And Dung? You don't give me anything cool? Whatever. I think he probably wants fish for that. Yeah, I'm guessing we, we, what it is is like when you give them the food that they love, like their favorite with the little exclamation point on it, that's probably when they give you like resources. Like feathers for this guy, for example, which I could try because I have carrots at home, but we'll do that some other time. Where's the other bulb? I think it's right there on, on top of that branch. They put it in like the least easy spot to see. Like, what was that? Why am I climbing, like, in the air? Grows in... Now. Okay, cool. Holy shit, this thing's getting big. You want to trouble... Uh, oh, wait, too bad you don't have two more. Two more what? If a creature lays eggs, they will eat it off the ground. That actually kind of makes sense, but it's also weird. This thing is fucking huge. I'm going to say it's needed or 10. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough. I mean, we'll get it eventually. It's fine. I mean, we don't have enough to do with the other stuff anyways. We still have to do a lot of other things here. Like ecosystems grown to tier 3. That's going to take like hours of in-game time, I think. Okay, so let's climb this now. Hopefully I actually can. Hopefully it doesn't kick me off randomly. Or just not give me enough stamina to get to the top. I would love a stamina upgrade. Like, give me two extra bars. I'm sure there's an upgrade at some point. Uh, is it this way? No, it's probably straight up. Um, there's nothing here. There's a heartbeat coming from the tree. Oh no, that's a creature walking. Never mind. Um. I don't know what to do with this. The cool as hell tree, but like, what do I, how do I, how do I use it? Surely it's not just a decoration, right?
I love that when you fall, it makes like the wind sound, even though you're only falling like 10 feet. Is it done growing? I think so. I don't I don't see any more buds to to feed on it. I haven't looked super thoroughly to be fair, but I don't see any. And there's no like timer on it saying like, oh, you got to wait, you know, X amount of time for it to grow. I thought there was going to be some sort of seed or something up here. Their reason is to expand environment? Oh, okay. That makes sense. So it's just a way to expand the environment with Amity only, rather than having to do all the different turn-ins and, and quests kind of stuff. Pretty cool. It's a little weird that it's like the same size as the Colossal Tree, which I, I mean, maybe the Colossal Tree is still just a sapling for now, but I don't know. All right, but I'm going to call it here, guys. Uh, I'm. It's actually a little bit later than we usually go anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm going to I'll be back Thursday. Um, same game. I plan to play this game for a while. Saturday might be the same game. I might throw in a little just like horror game for Saturday just because I haven't played one of those in a while and I kind of miss them. Um, and also, I mean, it's good to take breaks from games that you love, too. So nice little glade you got going on. Yeah, me too. Or I think so, too. <laughs> I think it looks really nice, especially from here, because there's not, like, this ugly gap. Oh, I can see there's no gap. Never mind. Yeah, this area looks really cool. I like it. I still wish I'd have put the, the farm tower, like, right there, but it looks really nice. But, yeah, I'll see you guys. Uh, what a lovely sapling. It's really cool, yeah. See you guys Thursday. Have a good one.